Y'all ain't got a call, right? I just be sitting here sometimes. I just, I just be sitting here. I'm just, I be trying to see who really is like, who, 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 who really are raised take fans. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be Kanye and y'all. I be done then y'all. I be sitting back. I be here, but I just be looking in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I already raise his own ass time. I be looking at everything y'all be saying, Jack. I just sometimes I just be like, you know what? You know what? Let's give him, let's give him a done deal fit. Let's just give him a done deal fit. We're going eight o'clock. But let's just see. Let's see if they're going to sit in they sit in they seats like Kanye fans. That's what I be wanting to see. And you know what? Y'all don't ever let me down. Because I'll be watching. I'll be looking. I'll be like, let me see if somebody's going to come up out of here. Let me see if somebody's going to try and leave while we ain't here yet. And then all y'all be right here. That's what I be talking about. I ain't looking. I don't be late, people. Oh, shit. I got to turn this phone off. Hold on. Hold on. I got to turn this phone off. I went and got a new phone, y'all. I got a new phone. Still the same, you know, information that comes to it. But I went and got a new phone. New phone. We're here. Guess what? I got some other people here too. Kapayao. Who did do it right there? What is it? There you go. There you go. What's going on, brother? You know me, man. Another day, baby. Another Monday. Another Monday. Now, this ain't another Monday. This is not another Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is far from another Monday. This is far from another Monday. Look here, y'all. I'm not, if you really think about it, I'm not late. I really put a time that is not reachable for me. I'm always like 8.30, 8.35. I don't even know why I said 8 o'clock. Like, my last session in the gym don't end at 7.30, and then I had to clean up. I don't even know why I even said 8. It sounded cute to say 8, though. It really did sound cute to say 8. At least mm -hmm. at 8, I'll be on time for 8.30. Because look at that. What time is it? 8.30. On time. Pie out. That's how you do that type of stuff. You got to trick yourself sometimes. That's all. <laughs> Hold on one sec. I got somebody else want to come in the thing and talk. Let me let me add him to the stream too. It's really his. It's really his fault. We late. I was really waiting on track world news. He oh, said, yeah? he had, no, he had, he had no. I don't want to hear. Yeah, I'm gonna go tell y'all. He texted me y'all. He was like, bro, I got to get my hair right today because I already know it's gonna be a lot of folk watching us. So he was like, let me make sure that I go. See, look, look, look at the edge up. Like, I ain't even get my hair. Man, look at the dude. Look at the dude beard, man. Like, that Settle my down, man. yo. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Rage Take You too. Love y'all for being here. Uh, real fast. Let's uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get this good roll call out the way. Who in here? The normal eco job. What to do? She is B Wayne. Oh yeah, chat what do was in the chat right. Oh, he been here. He was in the chat getting the hell done. Don't worry about it. Let me do it. Motion sickness. Motion sickness. What's going on? <laughs> what, what is the deal? Nick Roberts. What's going on, brother? Dice. Molly Wood. Candace. Molly Wood, you know, y'all know Molly Wood gonna be here. To Vaughn, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Who else in here? Only Justin. Okay. For the culture, what's going on? King Salmon, what it do, baby? Fire heart, as always. As always. What the hell is uh what what the hell uh where LB at? What the hell? Somebody go find LB 360. What's going on? Y'all know I can't start without LB and Rodney Jenkins. I, I probably didn't put my put my put my tweet up. I probably didn't tell everybody what was on though. Holly Legion, what's going on? All right, so check it. There he is, riding the Dinkins. We can go home and get the show started. My boy here now. All right, so y'all know why we're here. James Carter, man, what's going on, baby? What right there? Shout out James Carter, man. That's my dude right there now. Well, we go way back. We go all the way back 2005 and when Felix and everybody cheated on him. But it's all right. We ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that robbery. We ain't gonna talk about that robbery. I ain't good to have you on the show, though, brother. Fierce cause what's going on. All right, y'all. First of all, I'm gonna start it out and then we can talk about it. I'm not apologizing for Jack Diddle squat, okay? I'm not apologizing for nothing I said about Ariane, okay? I'm gonna tell you why I'm not gonna <laughs> apologize for it. All right, I'm gonna get my I'm get it out the way, all right? See, I thought about it, right? Because I, I y'all know I had enough time to sit back, get ready for the show, right? So I'm sitting there mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, I'm like. I want to, I got to give it to him first of all. I'm giving him respect, okay? 19-4, no matter what, is, is moving, all right? 19-4 moving. It's really moving. All right, we'll get to that. Y'all know what I'm going to say, though. He got to go do it somewhere else. Now, hold on before we jump on it. I'm on the reason why. On the reason why, because I like I like to use control substances. Um, Control A, control B. Hold on, let me tell this person that we on now. Got a surprise guest come. So we talking about 200. Hold on, let me tell him. Uh, we on now. Okay, so here's what I'm trying to say. At, um, Abby Stangle. Abby Stangle went down there to LSU. And, and see, this is why I be talking about, I be questioning them like, y'all got to do it more than once. Abby Stangle went down there to LSU. 
Into the Wind, she did something crazy. Is it, is it the same track or, or is it a different track? Because I, I thought Ella Shore had one track. She went down there and she did something crazy into the wind. Now, we actually talked about it last week, how when she left and went somewhere else, the times didn't really, you see what I'm saying? Because everybody was like, oh, she's ready to break the world record. Like, she had to do this with the tailwind and this and that. And everybody was like, woo, same thing at LSU and the honey. So for me, I still think that the 194 is impressive. But in order for me to say it's 194, you got to go do it somewhere else again. That's just that's just my take on nine. For me, it says, yeah, you 19, 6, 19, 7 ready. You still number one in the world. You ain't nobody finna touch you. Nobody finna come close to you. But 19 fold, go do it for me one more time. That that that's it. Do do it one more time. So <clears> is <throat> it is it the yeah. fact that he only did it once, which is your reason yet? Or is it the fact that it was at LSU that is the both the problem? Both. Both. Hold on one sec. I want to bring my other guest in because he like to run 200s and see what he got to say about it. Uh, welcome, Wallace Spearman, to the show. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna be talking about 200s, I got to go get me some backup on somebody that run the 200s and see if you're gonna be on my side. Uh, welcome uh, to the show, Mr. Wallace Spearman, Mr. Mr. 200 meter man himself. Long time, long time, Mr. Spearman. What's good, coach? What's happening, boy? All right, so you before you before you came in, Track World News was explaining or asking a question about uh how I felt. Was it about the, the track or the surface? So go ahead, Track World News. Go ahead, finish up. Yeah, so the, the question was, is it all about the the amount of times that he's done it, or was it about the track? And then and you said it's it's a little bit of both. And then my next thing would be: so if we go back to what? 2005, 2004, would you say the same thing about an 18-year-old Usain Bolt when he ran 1993? And he only did it once because he's ran sub-20 four times. No you, no one has ran sub-20 more than twice. Usain Bolt mm -hmm. twice when he was mm -hmm. uh, 18. And this guy did it when he was 17 and 18. And so I'm wondering, why can't we believe that he's he's ready for it when he's done it the most of anyone that is under 20 years old, and this was just the first meet of, of 2022. Believe he's ready for what, though? Believe he's ready for what? He ran a, a 10.04 earlier this year. Mm -hmm. He runs a 19.49 yeah. in the opener. Mm -hmm. What makes us think that he can't continue being in this 19.4 range? Like, he's, he's, he's shown he's consistent. He's done it at the biggest stage of the Olympics. Like, mm -hmm. he's done everything he's need to do so far at 18. That should give us reason to believe. He hasn't given us reason to not believe yet, which is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I I, I will answer it like this here. I believe he can hit it again. I, like we always say, where the body goes, he can go back. I can believe he can hit it again. Do I believe that he can go to punch Puerto Rico next week and hit 19-4 again? No, I don't. Do I believe he can go to, you know, uh, I don't know, to like U of H and hit it again? No, I don't. Do I think that he can hit it again as far as like when the season unfolds and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, of course I do. But like I feel like the track gave him most of that. The track and being fresh. That's just my take. I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let while he's smiling, so I'm gonna see what he got to say. And then you know, you know, coach gonna come in with the with the philosophy on it from the standpoint of coaching, and, and he's gonna bring in the curves and stuff and make it make sense to us. I already know that he's gonna <laughs> Miles, what do you think about that 200? Man, look, I, I don't know. I'm still processing. Like, I'm I'm listening right now, but I could put the slowest person in the world on fast track. That's not going to make them fast. You know what I mean? At the same time, too, I mean, I have to agree with Ray as well. Uh, just for the simple fact, I'm about to say, okay, Coach probably will back me up on this. When somebody hits a PR, typically you'll see somewhat of a regression in their body. I mean, you, you took your body somewhere it hasn't been before. It's like maxing out. You can't go in the weight room and max out every day. Like your body needs rest. Your mind needs rest. You got to re-up. And secondly, I mean, he's young. So I feel like right now he's just, he's just running. It's fun. It's not a business to him. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's, he's not putting a lot of the pressure on himself that a lot of the older athletes are. So he's just going out there and having fun. And I wish like a lot more of our athletes were able to do that, but we kind of trained them not to. So I'll simply say, can he run that again? 
I, I don't know what he's doing in training. I don't know what the world has in store for him. I don't know how he handles pressure, but all of the attention is going to be on him now. And I mean, time, time will tell. We'll get to watch and see. We're going to get front row front row seats to, to this show is what I'll say. Wasn't you in? Wasn't he in Tokyo? Whoa! I got some feedback from somewhere. Wasn't um? Wasn't he in Tokyo? Yeah, absolutely. How did, how did he look in Tokyo? Man, I got to be careful when I say stuff like this. So I mean, it's the same thing at trials. Like if you watch his his first round and his second round, you thought he was gonna medal. Like he runs those rounds so easy. It, well, oh, oh, let me say this then. Let me, let me rephrase my question. Um, yeah. as far as like, I go with like relay style stuff and stuff like that. How did he look? at Tokyo with that type of stuff. He looked like he was supposed to be there. I mean, you think about it. Sydney McLaughlin, when she was when she was young, which 2016 Olympics, like you watched her and she didn't make the final, but you could tell there was going to be something special. I mean, the thing of Mo came out and she just killed it. You know, Usain Bolt, his first games in 04, uh, didn't make the final, you know, injuries, et cetera. I mean, there's some people that come out there and you can watch them and you think that, you know, they, this kid's going to be here for a while. But then at the same time, too, we have athletes that do things that are spectacular when they're young. And, I mean, just, it's, it's like there's too much gets put on their plate too soon and they can't handle the other aspect of it. I, all, I'm assuming all of you all know, Ray, I know you know 100%. You might see a college kid watch pro athletes run overseas and think to themselves, I could do that, but you don't <laughs> they were traveling for 24 hours. They were stuck. They don't have a toothbrush, no underwear, no drawers. It all got lost. Uh, they don't speak English. They're eating food. They never seen can't spell. Like, so there's a lot that goes into the pro side of it. It just, I mean, you just got to see how you can navigate it. I see coach over there itching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanted to like, coach you're rubbing the legs over there. there. Nah, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm going to share something with y'all. He ran 1949 on dead legs. You know what he, you know what he did in practice? And I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what the hell was told to me by his coach. Okay. He did two times 450. I don't believe that, though. <laughs> I, li listen to me. I, 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 I said listen that. to me. Two by 450 and then back it over 1940. L listen to me. Oh, he bro. did. I, I he did that on. Fort Long. Did that on. Oh, dead legs look like that ain't dead. That legs. ain't dead legs. <laughs> listen. So basically, what you're saying is about to run 18 seconds. No, no, I'm not saying he's running 18 seconds. I'm just saying that if this is what he's doing because they're gearing up for USA's, which is let's be honest, and right. Wallace, you've been there, Ray, you've been there. The USA meets. I think you can contest to this. It's the hardest damn meet. Might, might sometimes be harder than Worlds of the Olympics sometimes. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what you, know what about might be. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it's how they setting them up. They wasn't expecting 19-4. His coach, his old coaching crew didn't, wasn't expecting, they were expecting 19-7. 19-4 completely took them off guard. I, I could see 19-7. I can't, yeah. I, I could see that. They was not prepping for 19-4. They was prepping for him to open up, okay, 197. That was what they was all had in their mind. And then the first 30, some of his people was in the infield, and the response was, holy, he's about to do something crazy. And when Big Joe couldn't run, when Big Joe couldn't close the gap, they knew it was a problem. And when they came through, they went and triple-checked the, the, the results. Because they were like, no, that can't be right. He's running on dead legs. I'm not, when I say when I say dead legs, I mean, come on, you know when you run 1940. Right. You, you gotta be right. You barely part. doing. You, you barely be, doing anything. You gotta be specific what you say though, because words are important. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dead legs, but I'll say he trained. I'll give you he trained through that. Trained through. Let me use the term okay. that okay. everybody can understand. Train, train, train through sound a little better. Train. Train. He, he <laughs> trained. He trained through. That's he true. trained through. So that is scary. At the fact that he trained through that meet and ran 1949. Now, do like listen, there's only been two guys that run 194. For someone nope. to come back and do no one's game. ran 194, he's the first 194 ever. Um, well, well, Johan Blake ran it in 2012 uh, and Bolt ran in 2011 when he first started. That's what I'm saying. There's only two okay. men that's ever gotcha, ran 194. Okay, gotcha. yeah. No, you know, 194 is like the forbidden number, <laughs> like that yeah. everybody doesn't really touch, they either go way past it or, or way under it, you know. So, yeah. um, how about this? Then I got a question for you, yeah. All right, 
you know how the domino effect works in track and field. Yeah. One person does it, that just opens the door for others to do it. Would you agree? Oh, kind of like you. I'm so. <laughs> and, and, and Walter Dix. And Tyson Gay and Xavier and, Carter. Yeah. All in and the mile, four minute yeah, mile. Xavier all Carter. <laughs> Frankie Fred, and, and Xavier Carter. Yeah, y'all, y'all. So y'all started this. <laughs> so let's just, I, I, I think we all agree the talent level is there for multiple people to run that fast this year. You think they actually do it? No. You don't think wait, so? Mm -mm. Wait, wait, who, wait, what, what was the question? Mm -mm. Not at all. I said, I feel, I personally feel like there's multiple athletes right now that are capable of running 19-4. Yeah. Mm -mm. If they, mm -mm. Who, do you, who do you think could do no. it? Noah Lyles for Noah one. Noah Lyles. Early for two. I mean. <laughs> what? Okay, keep going, keep going, keep yeah. going. Huh? Decide, <laughs> keep going. Yeah, right, you, you, you got them too. Okay. Yeah. Fall down, man. Look, I even give Kenny. Them about the only two, though. I'll give Kenny. Kenny. 19-4 range? I yeah. guess. He's been Bro, so 19, consistent. He's been consistent, right? but hey. nineteen four. Come on hey, now, nineteen. Ray, hey Ray, they got something we don't, we didn't have. Them Nike shoes is real, boy. I know they <laughs> is now. I know they. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I know they is now. That's why. Okay, they, so like somebody they, said, they, they, so you. They, well, they, what about the grassy then? You think they, the grassy can do that? No. I, so you don't hold on. So you don't think the grass can go nineteen four? Do you think Kenny can go nineteen four? Who you asking? Coach, I'm asking Coach because he just oh, said no. So now I'm asking him. So you you think Kenny can go 19 4, but yeah. the grass can't go 19 4? Yeah, because Kenny can run 44 7 in the open quarter and also what? runs 9 8 in the 100. And just that run, play, that, that he plays a 45 4, his first opener in the 400 on accident. He he was killing Michael Cherry through the first three, and Michael Cherry showed him what that last 100 does. Like <laughs> now, because he's been running them. I don't mean because he's not capable of running the 400s, but that was his first one in some since maybe junior. Three years. And and it was like, welcome back to the four. Now, if he continued to run it, do I think he can run 44-5 or faster? Absolutely, but I see that. Now, the only reason why I won't sleep on the grass is because every time you do it, it's like he has a little buzzer in his butt. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jack. That's why I see you asked him that question. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I, I, I just – it's certain people. Like, I, I if you told me Usain Bolt – Think about this. When Usain Bolt ran 9-7, and I think Ray and I might have both been in that race in Jamaica. No, nah, I, I wasn't in that one, thank God. I, <laughs> I got enough, enough baptisms on my, on, on my plate. Don't, don't give me no extra ones. <laughs> so don't give me that. He turned around after the race. He was like, Wallace, where were you? I was like, dude, you just ran 9-7. Where was I? Like, What in the history of us makes you think I can run 9-7? Now, come on. Throw him in the back at the start. Now, back to this point, uh, I'll be honest with you. Boat ran 9-7. The next what week or two, we went to New York, and nobody in the world believed it was real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's one thing to run it, but like the old heads and the track people right now. Like, I'm not gonna say they hating on them, but they want to see that again because yeah, I wasn't there, or you know, like so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I'm one of them old heads that I, I was in that race. Y'all know I was in that race, and that's how exactly how we felt. Okay, boat ran what nine seven. You gotta come over here and do it, and then he came over here and did it, and then we had to shut up. Hey, look, look, listen, <laughs> only because only because I know who's coaching him, I know he's gonna he, he can probably do it again. Who's coaching him? Holloway? Yeah, yes. yeah. That training group is crazy. But I thought he's in high school. He's a senior in high school. I thought they were just he's still, he's, he's a pro so, training with him though. Yeah, it's it's a back in it's a back and forth Tampa to Gainesville type thing. Mm -hmm. How does yeah. that eligibility yes. era? No, he's, no not, he, he's not. He's not eligible he, for high school. He's pro. yeah. He he yeah, get homeschooled. Yeah, he he get homeschooled, right? I think that's what I told me. No, I oh. thought he goes. I thought he's going to regular. I, he's going to regular I'm high school. school. He's just not running for the team. Yeah. About to, okay, so he is in regular high like school. Like Jalen Slade. Jalen Slade still goes to IMG, but he can but he competes for Adidas. Mm. Right. What happened to him? Who? Jalen Slade, Slade? The, the the young kid. Yeah, Jalen Slade. What happened to him? He's still. He's just. I don't think he's opened his uh, season up yet. I mean, not everyone up. can do what what uh. <laughs> what better hurry up. Wait. Yeah, some, some folks actually waiting. Some folks actually gonna wait to after pre wait. Uh, after pin pin relays to actually run. They they wait for what? Wait for what? Ray the 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 world championships has been expedited. Look, look here, it's been expedited. But if I see him four drop nineteen fours and nine sevens and stuff, I'm gonna wait too. If I ain't ready, like you know what? I'm gonna have to wait. Me and Jack, it, these no boys one, coming out ready. <laughs> Noah ran nineteen eight, and the thing about it is that's that, that that's. That's what nineteen four does. It's like okay, that was his fastest <laughs> season. That's his fastest season opener, and nobody said a word. I yeah, mean, I, all my career, I don't think I ever opened up with nineteen eight. I think nineteen nine might have been the, the the best. Yeah, you did. When Arkansas two thousand seven, you made me pull up, man. 
Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> that was windy though. <laughs> That doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, Cole said you a liar. I, I seen your back. I, I know what it felt like. <laughs> no, he was in four. He was in four. His training partner was in two, and I was in eight. And I'm talking about this dude came off the curve with bad intentions. Like, bro, like we ain't do it to you. <laughs> I ran the four by one, the one hundred, the two hundred. Oh, loud. He yes. said, a, yeah. "He said it was a workout on you, coach. Don't let him do that to you, Lamont." He said, "Hey, it was a workout." Yeah. No, that was no. You don't run nineteen eighty four. I remember because I remember it was nineteen eighty four, and he sat there. I think he kind of shut it down like the last forty meters. It was just working on technique and ran nineteen eighty four. I think I ran nineteen eighty two in New York with Boat as well. So I think you're right. Okay, I'll be quiet. All right, but yeah. Anyway, here's my question. Here's my question. Then, since we talking about the two hundred and, and and boat and all that, everybody immediately said he gonna break the world record. He gonna break the world record. Okay. Okay. Well, tell me, go around the table. Give me y'all thoughts on him breaking the world record. I'm gonna go last. Go around the table. Y'all go ahead. Wallace, I want Wallace to go first because he was in both world record races. He go first. Oh, you gotta bring that. Damn, up. Wally, you've been beat up a lot. How many? <laughs> I thought oh, I had on. took some punches. Quick. You done took some punches, Jack. <laughs> I've been in 1919. I was in boat when he ran the 1930, whatever it was. And mm -hmm. look, I was in the softest race when he ran 974 and broke the world record and shut it down yeah. with 30 to go. I've been in like six or seven world record races. Let me. Just, it's safe to so say if when you, we was running, the race, you know you're running fast, bro. It, it, but <laughs> it's safe to say like that's what we be talking about on here in our era, like. Bro, like any given day, you it's a record might be broke if you in that race. Like any, if it ain't a record, if it be something in the fastest. That's why I was like, man, it was rough during our age. I said my PR man. is forty five two in the four hundred from lane one. And what place you think I got? <laughs> Fourth, because Jeremy Warner ran forty three six. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to Jay 40. Warner, man. I was there with Jeremy this past weekend at um uh, Taps. <laughs> I ran 45 4 like five days later, and Jeremy Warner ran like 40. I, I, I've taken some L's, so I've taken I've won a few and, and lost more. But long story short, to get back on subject, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Can you say world record? Like, why? Like, why can't you just enjoy where we are right now? Like, why? 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 Uh, because that's what you're supposed to talk about as a fan. I mean, I, yeah, I get it, but I don't know. Let me see if he can run 19 4 again. I would say if he can run 19 4 consistently. Then eventually, I would say he would at least drop to nineteen two, but I don't know. I don't know. It it literally depends. I know you're saying Mouse is his coach, etc. But like Mouse has coached a lot of greats. Let's 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 agree on that. Like mm -hmm. Karan ran forty four five indoors and broke the world record, but I ain't see him touch that again. Not saying he couldn't have, but that just it changes focus. I don't know what's going to happen. Fred Curley, if you'd asked me two years ago, I would say he was shooting for the world record in the 400. I would have never thought he would have tried to break it in the one. So can he do it the way he looked in that race? Absolutely. And if you watch the last 20 or 30, I'm not going to say he died, but he decelerated a lot more than I expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the way he ran that first 100, I know who the first leg on the football one should be. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Track world news. Yeah. What, what, what you so thinking? are you saying is he just gonna break it in general or breaking it this year? Good question. That's a good question. Let's I don't go, think let's he's go. gonna break it this year. He's, okay, go I don't ahead. Think he's gonna break it this year. He's he's okay. 18, like it's, well, you can't it. say that no more because that's what me and me and coach we supposed to be apologizing for because we kept saying he 18, he 18. Well, you no, can't like, even say that no more. Right. So I don't, I don't think he'll that. break it this year, but I do think he is going to break the record and what what thinks is like so in, in the sprints you have such a small window to break these world records like mm -hmm. really if you want to break a world record for the men's side if if you don't do it by 24 it seems like you don't really have a chance <laughs> like your your window is small like Usain Bolt was 22 uh Wade Van Niekert was 24 uh and then Johan Blake when he ran his thing was he was 23 and so like you got to do it quick. And so I think the fact that he is doing these times so early, you know, allows him to, to be able to do uh, to drop that, you know, that amount of time by the time he's 24, because then, you know, by the time he's going to be it's Paris, he'll be he'll be 22. He'll be right right at his prime. So I think that he's in a really good position to and there's a lot of good runners that are going to be able to push him to be able to do it. Uh, so I think if there is someone that could do it, I, I, I think he will. Hmm. Okay. All right. Look. <sighs> I 
Look, man, I, I like war records just like the next guy, bro. But I need y'all to really digest how 19.19 sounds. <laughs> if, you, if you want to be honest, though, Coach, that's not really supposed to be the world record right now. Right. Now, yo, yo, now, let, now, now let's, let, let's be clear. Let, let's be clear. Wallace, you ran at this track. Ray, you ran at this track. Berlin was considered the slow track. Had that been in Daegu, that record probably would have been 19 0. Daegu was supposed that, to be slow. But but you but you understand what I'm saying? Like everyone was saying that the way I, I guess that that's the stadium, the the Berlin stadium, the same stadium that Jesse Owens competed in. Like, yeah, yeah, I would know more than I would. Yeah, that's the same. Perfect stadium, wasn't right? the same though. But yeah, right. Yeah. But it was it, right. So they really didn't make any, you know, um, changes to the actual venue other than the surface and updated the technology. Nineteen point one nine. Okay, we also forgot that the man that ran nineteen point one nine also ran nine five eight. Uh-huh. All right. Four days before. Right. Hey, right. Hold, hold your thought though, because I want to drop something in here real fast, like a little small commercial break. This is a true yeah. story. Okay. Me and this guy Wilder Spearman. The night before, okay, night before the hunters, all right. We playing Mario Kart. He won. I ain't gonna not, not Mario Kart. We playing Mario at the Olympics, right? He tam he tam my tail. Look, he ain't out there dropping nine fours and nine nine fives. He looked at me and was like, fool, what do one of them go like this? What do one of them go like this tomorrow? Like for the finals. Shit, you not like promise you like what does my duty? I'm like, boy, ain't nobody to do no video game time. And just to cheer you know, the next day, ha ha y'all nine five. I said, what the hell? <laughs> Wallace, well, you hex me. <laughs> what you got there? Got my I don't got blasted out here. I I said, and I ain't played with Wallace no video game since then. But right. anyway, now you can finish, coach. I do right, want right. to put that yeah. out there. <laughs> the, the, the the positive thing is what track world news has said that he's young and he can still and he has a window where he can do it. My only concern is that damn central nervous system. Because hmm. once you go into that red zone, it's hard to come back. It's hard to keep that that central nervous system where it's supposed to be, you know, without it without it tailing off. So I give him the American record. I'm not gonna give him the world record. I'm sorry, 1919 just don't sound right. That just takes a that just takes some out of body. You're not you're not from here. You're from Asgard or something like that. You can get you're not you're not human. You know, I think I think the person that can run 1919 is probably in a strip club somewhere and that is probably <laughs> doing something. You know, they, the parents haven't met yet. <laughs> you know oh wow, okay. I see what I see where you're going with. I see you going. You, you know what I'm saying? Like I I I don't know, I don't know what to tell y'all. I I have too much respect. For the 1919, not only that, just not just that what he did, but the race and everyone that was in that race, it, it's it's too it's <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm 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 gonna ask all y'all a question then. And before I get my take, I'm gonna ask all y'all a question. And we're not gonna go out, we not we not using the 194 race. We're not gonna use that. We just gonna look use like last year, and we're gonna take the 194 race out. We go person for person. Do y'all think that? Arian Knight and can beat Fred Curley in a hundred or two hundred. Either one, hundred or two hundred. Do you think that he can beat Fred Curley? You know as well as I know, anybody can be beat on any day. This, this is true, but for the sake of this this debate, <laughs> do you think that Arian Knight can beat Fred Curley in a hundred and two hundred? Based talking, off last year, are we based, based, based off last year? We just talking like a rent, like an LSU. We just talking about an LSU regulation put in the street race. Y'all go. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I think he could. Yeah, any anyone can beat anybody. Yeah, why not? In the two hundred, yes, the hundred. Uh, don't know yet. He hasn't ran. He hasn't gone sub ten yet. I can't give him in the hundred. Okay, so I gotta ask y'all though, but because 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 y'all was using four hundred meter times. So how in the hell is it that Fred can open up with forty four and be a forty three second two hundred, but for the forty three second four hundred meter runner, yeah. Arian can't touch those numbers in the four hundred. But you saying that. But you just and then hold on though, and, and and he also Fred also don't went nine eight, so he don't went nine eight. Arians never done that. He don't went four to three. Arians never done that. He and so when they meet in the middle, you saying he can't beat him? But but look how look how long and how many races it took Fred to finally run legitimately and consistently in the nineteen eight. Look how long it took him. Look at me, race. Well, no, I'm not talking about 19, I'm talking about 9 8. The 100 meter, he, I'm talking about oh. 9 8. His 100 meter, not, not 19 8. The reason why I'm asking is because I'm saying, like, <clears throat> I feel like the world record, def, the, we'll put it away, the American record is definitely in jeopardy. It's definitely in jeopardy. I think the world record is in jeopardy with the right conditions. And what I mean by the right conditions is 
it got to be that Oregon track. It got to be those super spikes. You got to give me a 1.8 and you got to give me all of them in the race. Because what I'm saying is if Arian Knighton is at 19.4 right now, and let's just say we take away LSU track and go with what you're saying, he's in 19.7 shape. 19.7 shape means he can still run 19.6, which means in order to beat me right now, you're going to have to go 19.5. If I'm still training, when I get to in two more months, that means I'm in 19.3 shape. So then I got to sit back and say, okay, well, if Arian going to be in 19.3 shape, can he literally actually beat people like Kenny? Can he really beat as we say, grown men, like they got grown men strength and foot speed. Can he really beat them? Or the way I look at it is he set it up for those records to be broken because I don't think that he can beat those people. And I think those people will see that type of number and say, okay, that's where we at right now. Cause I'm not going to let you beat me. So if that's where we at right now. That means well, I'm going to have to go 19, two, 19, one, 19, something to beat you. Well, that's really, the only reason why I'm saying I'm like, I'm about to say something super controversial right now. Well, that's what the show for. Go ahead. Right. So first, let me first and foremost, let me say Usain Bolt is one of my best friends in track and field that came up since we were together. Start first world championships, first time we raced, we were in London. I watched this dude play tag. Like I didn't, I've I've seen from when no one knew who Usain Bolt was to world records to retirements. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Y'all ready? I think the 958 and the 1919 are soft records. Mm. You ready for me to explain? Go ahead. You go yeah, ahead. I, I definitely yeah, want you to. Yeah, I definitely yeah, want yeah, you to. I show you. I want you to. Listen, I want you to explain. You got to go, you gotta go uh, on record. Yeah, now. Yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I got to hear something, man. Uh, yeah, I you want go, you to go, explain you go, the 958 because I think the 19. Explain both of them because I'm not going to hear both of them. Okay, okay. I hear both of them. To me, the 91 was based on the 91 is a soft record because of the track configuration. But I want to explain at, the 958. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, what do you mean by a soft record? I need to hear all this. All right. So if I take prime Usain Bolt from 2009 at that same championship, and I let him run a prelim and a straight final in the 200 and the 100, because you have to remember, in Berlin, he ran four rounds of the 100, then four rounds of the 200. He ran 1919 on his eighth race. As smart as everyone in this group is, y'all can't sit here and tell me that he wouldn't have ran faster without some of those races on his legs. Hold on, let me so go to, on me, to me, I personally believe if we take some of those races off his legs, we might see 9, 4, and 19 flat, strictly off a volume or a load standpoint. So what do you think? So... I don't know about that because we have also seen that people run a lot of records in prelims because there is you're loose. It doesn't mean as much. And it's, it's just a lot. E it's a lot easier to do like a lot of records, a lot of personal bests, you know, have been ran in prelims. And so you were on my side. What do you say? Then you just proved my point. Yeah. yeah. And I'm saying, why could he then run his best in the final? And so I'm saying it's not a soft record because, why didn't if if it's a self record, that's, then why didn't he do it in the in the prelim? But that's why would he? Why would you? Yeah, I gotta go with Wallace on that one. Like, why? I, we, I, I can see where he's coming from with it. Be, well, I, I'll say like this: I think the two hundred maybe soft record, the hundred no, and here's why: those rounds prepared him for that nine five. Yeah, those rounds beating up on us in the rounds, yeah. it allowed him to see where he felt like without even having to push it. So I think without if we if, he, if we didn't have those rounds, I don't think he'd have went nine five. I thought we I think we'd have saw nine six again. I don't think we'd have saw nine five. I think we saw nine five because I mean let, let, let's just call it what it is. The first we didn't even, personally I didn't think Boat was gonna win. All right, I thought Tyson was gonna win. Damn it, I was training with him the whole summer. <laughs> Boat played possum. I mean, if you remember the first round, he all went like 10-0. and then the second round he went like oh, nine eight oh, again, yeah. and like nine eight, eight again. He went you see what 10, I'm saying? 20, he went ten twenty two in the first round. He ran 989 God. in the semis. Okay. And he went uh faster than people's he, lifetime. He went, in, in, in what, what, what did he, he do in the final? Oh, he lost he lost his quarterfinal. He uh went 1003 in the quarterfinal. Yeah. yeah. And then came back and dropped nine five. So I think because of that, that's what gave him the nine five because his body was getting loose every time. It's like, let me just let me get a shake out. Let me get myself going. So now I'm gonna give you the soft record on the 200 for sure. Because if you Put it this way, if he had not ran the hundred and only ran the two hundred, 
I think the world record would be like 18. I'm telling you, I don't even think it's 19. I'm thinking it's 18 now. Like, if he go and just do the 200, it's 18. It, it's at least, like, I'm being honest with y'all. I'm putting that thing at 18, 8, 18, 9. Some stupid stuff because, like, all is saying, he did go 19, 1 with all. Now, that's what you call heavy legs. What, 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 well, your boy got, he ain't got heavy legs. <laughs> what both did. That's running with heavy legs. That he went 19, 19 with heavy legs. Fresh legs, you gotta give him 18. So I'll go with that second one. The first one, right, I think the nine fair. five was, was about right. That's fair. And and, 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 and let me put and let me say this. Ahead, let me say father. this. Can you imagine if Tyson was in that race? Remember, the only time Bo ever got beat off a of bend and it was barely was in 07. That was I don't think if Tyson would have been in the race, he wouldn't have ran as fast though. What? He, no, he I'm gonna could, tell you what. He, he took his race serious nah. in that hundred. Hey, let me let me tell no, you. And the two hundred, he went. I don't think he would have ran that fast in the two hundred if Tyson was in the race. Right, right. Let me tell you a story. You ready? Go yeah. ahead. All right. So let's go back to two thousand and nine. I'm gonna tell you like this. Like like I said, that's my boy. That's my dog. So you was there. All room and we're together, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Every like any or every other championship we've been together. Like I joke around and play. That's how I stay loose and calm. He does the exact same thing. So that's how we were always cool. But we're walking out to the track, and I guarantee you've never heard this story before. So we're walking out to the track. I don't know how. Ray, you know this like anybody else. There was a reporter in the tunnel. That is not supposed to happen. Ray, you know that. There is a reporter literally after the final call room where they strip you down and they walk you out. There's a reporter there, and he grabs Bolt, and he says, Mr. Bolt, we heard that you're going to break the world record. Is that true? And his comment was, I didn't say that. Mm, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> he said, so do you think you can break the world record? He said, I'm focused on running my race. And then security came and grabbed this dude and swooped him off like I don't even know what. Now, mind you, that's my boy. So, nah, you, 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 you got games and you got plays on words, but they don't work with me. So I looked him dead in the eyes and I said, hey, bro, you about to break the world record? And he was like, I ain't say that. I said, but you didn't say that you weren't. Thank you. <laughs> Look at Wallace, run your own race. You got it. Hey, 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 hey. I said, what does that mean? I said, man, I said, bro, we boys. So I'm not trying to get hurt trying to chase you. What's up? He said, well, this fool's about to try to break the world record. Okay. So now let's fast forward. You can go back and watch film. First time in my life, I catch a start. Runners take your mark. Set. That was it. My fault. They shoot the gun. I'm gone. Pop. Mm. Pop, pop. False start. Steve Mullins, like in lane three or two. I said, man, dang. I passed both. I go back and watch it. He lets off. I pass him. He looks over at me and he says, you was catching me. I said, bro, I ain't come out here to lose. We boys, but I ain't come out here to lose. I don't know what you thinking. Mm -hmm. but okay. We walk back to the starting blocks, runners take your mark, and he does this. And I didn't know what it meant. Mm. Hey, he's not lying. I, I remember that. He literally did that. He literally was like, "My coach, I knew what it meant. I knew exactly what it meant. At the start of the 200. <laughs> I said, I'm going to go. He rolls up, <laughs> and he looks at me, and he says, Wallace. I look up. He says, run for second. What? You with me every day. I just ran 14 <laughs> to 1 into 150. F-A-T. Like, no, bro. We're going to have to. Hey, hey, cuz. Like, hold on. We're going to talk about this when I get done. <laughs> they shot that gun. He caught Alonzo Edwards in three steps. Who yep. ran 18 eight Yep. In three steps. I'm not going to lie. I shot. They shot the gun. I took, like, four steps, and I looked up. And I just, I, I literally, in my head, I said, man, it's over with. <laughs> and Steve Mullins passed me. I was like, oh, crap. I'm in a race. I got to go, too. I take off running. Bro, we came off that bend. I don't, I'm, I'm in way in the back. I said, all right. Boat is so far in front, I couldn't process where he was. So in my mind, I'm running for first place. I caught, <laughs> I caught, I caught the other boy. <laughs> uh, trying to dip a lot. It was like I won. Hi! Boat 1919. I was like, wait a minute. I think that, that's the ball record. I'm like, 19. I had to run like 19.5 or 19.4. Ain't no way on earth he did us like that. Shit. Oh, my God. He almost did five seconds. 
This is so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, hey. Mine dude already on the back stretch celebrating and dancing and stuff. I said, man, what? Hey. <laughs> y'all see how these stories line up? They all the same. Like when you race boat, it's all the same. It's like oh, I, it's, oh. I was, I man, he, he up there. I'm racing these people back here. I'm thinking I'm in the race. In the race, he ain't in the race no more. He up there somewhere. Like he, he, he on the time zone. Like he, we were. Run your own race. You think we ain't? You go by, goodbye, go on up there, well, up the street so well. Hey, but I I say all that to tell you, like, look, I've been in the world record. Like, I know what it looked like. I know what it felt like to lose. I don't know what it felt like to run it. But I tell you this though, honestly, I really feel like Bolt was capable of running faster. So when you say can the world record be broken, honestly, in my mind, yeah, because the world record should be faster than what it is. There's no way on earth you can tell. That Johan Blake ran 1926 mm -hmm. point with a two or a point two reaction and mm -hmm. run four on the curve and he with that and in Monaco. Oh, with all due respect, no, that was it. Uh, in Brussels. Brussels, bro, Brussels, Brussels. I thought he went 1920. Yeah, there it was Brussels when yeah. uh, Walter Dix, Dix got taken 19.5. Walter Dix wasn't happy about that either. But yeah, I know. Walter Dix, Dix quit that day. Yeah, he quit that day. <laughs> with all due respect, though, there's no way on earth you can tell me somebody should have broke. Usain Bolt's record with this 9.5 speed and he can run 43 in the 400. There's no way on earth you can tell me that somebody running a such a, a unflawless or uncharacteristic race of themselves should have broke Bolt's record. There's no way he should have run 1926 and been so close. So to me, like I'm going to be honest with you, that's the pinnacle. Like that, that's the greatest person who's ever done it. That world record should be better. So do I think people can break it? Absolutely. Because that wasn't the best he could ever do. That's what I think. Wait, real quick, real quick. So, like, uh, you said that it's a, it was a soft record because he ran three or four rounds, like. Four three, rounds, 100, and then okay. rounds of the 200. It was his, so his eighth race. So are both the women's 100 and 200 meter records also soft records? Because mm -hmm. Flojo did the exact same thing. Uh, honestly, then, yeah, I think she could run faster. I, like, there's no way you're sitting here. Like, I've ran eight rounds before. There's no way you're sitting here and telling me that somebody can't run faster fresh or at least with one maybe or two races under their belt than eight. There's no way. Like, I, I just don't see it. And I'm a championship runner. Most of my fastest times came from championships. Like, I we trained. I trained with Lance Brom and same coach as Noah Lyles right now and Sean A. Miller. We trained for rounds. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But still – in the finals, my legs are just as tired as everybody else's. We just train to be able to withstand that and still produce. Is that my best? Not really. But think about it. When I go throughout a season, I'm not trying to peak at Prefontaine. I'm not trying to peak in, in Brussels. or I'm trying to peak at the championships, mm -hmm. USA's or wherever you're from, respectively, and at the games. If I were to train to try to peak at an open race, then maybe you know it, it could be different. But you didn't see that. You, people are chasing finances at the end of the day. And that's why, to me, Arian's race is so impressive because, I mean, he's just out there running. He's not thinking about the business or if I get reduced for not making a team. or He's mm -hmm. not thinking about that. He's out there running and having fun, and that's what it should be. But that's, that's not that's not reality in, in a lot of our sprinters' world. They're trying to make a living because it's a hard thing to do in the sport. You know what? You said the mouth, you boy. You they the did. You just, you just dropped the damn jewel on once again. This is Jewel Central right here, man. Am I focused? Both y'all know, Ray, when the last time you peaked to run at Texas Relays? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> run it at three months. Hey, never. I'm thinking I gotta make this team, Jack. That's why I gotta make these finals. What are you talking about? I cannot I not make the finals. Brand broke world record after world record after world record, but only has one bronze medal in the championship. I don't even know how many times he broke the world record, but he's criticized for doing it not at a chance. Like, so that's the mindset. In my life, I look at my career like, bro, I've made two Olympic teams, two finals, no medals. I can't sit in the same conversation as as. Even Fred right now. Like wait, 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 you didn't medal? I thought you medaled at the Olympics. Hey, they took it, remember? I stepped yeah. up qualified. Yeah. Oh damn, come, that's right. Come they, on, they, man. They, you you just you no 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 no. I'm no seriously. I thought no, I, I thought he medaled and I'm I'm starting to remember that. Oh, 2012, you, I got you, the, you stepped on the line? Yeah, I got third and disqualified. I got fourth in 2012. So yeah, I got bad mm -hmm. Olympic luck. Yeah. 2000, you know, 2005, you did your thing, though. You did your thing, though. Yeah. I got world championships medals. I got, a, I have an indoor got them, got, them, got them for days. <laughs> I got the medal in the 4x4 indoors. Who would have guessed that? 
I don't have wow. any medals though. They, they those those eluded me. Hey, I want to switch hats real fast. And Wallace, you more than welcome to stay on. But I got to switch hats because because we got a big race coming up. This oh, before we get to this big race, next I'm gonna go to this one first, and then we'll talk about Trayvon. So this weekend, Fred and Ocean's Twelve is lining up against each other in Nairobi, right? Kenya, in the hundred meter dash. Now, mind you, the last time these two raced was at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Mind you. Fred thought he had won. I didn't and know. It, it, Fred thought he won. Like, I don't know. Fred really thought he had won. Until you see the video and you see all of the, the evidence is like, no, Fred, he, he got you. He got you. What do y'all think is gonna happen this weekend with them two in the race? In, the in, the same, in Nairobi. Is that the same track that Trey ran? Yep, the that's the same. Yep, that's the same track that him and what's the name with 97 the end of the deal. We're gonna see a crazy the, time. The, the European record is gonna get shattered. How many so, for the race, are they showing up? Are they getting there? That's a very good question, and that would definitely determine how fast they run. What do you say? I've been uh, when they getting there, like um, right on the plane right now. Go. I saw him on Instagram. I, I was about to say, I <laughs> do I know, I do know, one person is already on his way to be there all week long, getting ready. So he gets there with like Tuesday. Hell no, nah, they might. He's, well, he's yeah, 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 right yeah, 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 yeah. So technically, he get there Tuesday, and they race on Saturday. Wednesday, shake out Thursday, mm -hmm. blocks Friday, pre meet. I don't know, man. What y'all think? What do y'all mean here? What y'all think? Um, I think Jacobs has to beat him because if you give a guy a glimmer of hope, you don't officially gave him the energy he need and the mental capacity to play mind games with you and beat you. You he he has to beat. He has to beat him. He has to beat him. You can't let no one get into your zip code, bro. If someone saw moving into your neighborhood, you got to make sure you put them in a position where you're now in the you, you now moved up into a different zip code. You you, you can't you can't have it. and Mo Green used to say that shit all the time. You can't have no one in your zip code. He's gonna Jake was gonna have to beat him and beat him convincingly. Mm. He's have to beat him convincingly mm. to have to look. Fred is headstrong. Everything we see with Fred, he's super headstrong. But if you pummel somebody. So you no, think not. so you so 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 who so you think that Ocean 13 gonna beat Fred? I think Ocean 13 is gonna get him. Is okay. okay. it short short shorter travel? Shorter okay. travel, even okay. though it feels like okay. it's the same. He's shorter still, travel, like okay. okay, okay, and he has a point to prove. Maybe not eight hours, maybe okay, okay. I don't know. Is this his first race since indoor worlds? Oh, Ocean 13, yeah, yeah, that's tough. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. True. Nine seven. That's tough. That's track world. Track world. Dude, what you think? Well, who, who who you got? What you think? What you yeah, think? like man, like I just it's because both of these people are people you every time you bet against them they prove you wrong. So mm -hmm. it's like because every time you bet against Fred, Kelly, yo, Fred can't do the wrong. Fred can't do this. You bet against them, then he does it. Same with Jacobs. Jacobs is is not the favorite for the hundred. Jacobs ain't the favorite for the sixty. Every time you bet against Jacobs, you're wrong. And so, shoot, they might just tie at this point, man. Like, like they they mm. both they mm. both so damn good. But like, I think that whoever wins, I bet you whoever wins this race at Nairobi is going to win or have the better medal placement come come Worlds. That's what I'm gonna say. I think both records come down this Saturday. And what I mean by like both America records record is and America record, America record gone, and Italian record. I think both of those are gone. Like Saturday, both of those gone. American record and the Italian record. I'm not gonna go out like I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Fred break the, the only reason why I'm saying Fred is because of a couple of things. All right, when Ocean Thirteen entered into that race, all that did was give Fred more fuel, and then. Lamont, you said something that made sense. Fred is headstrong. Yeah. Fred ain't really headstrong. He's confident strong. Meaning, what I say is going to happen is going to happen. It don't matter what you think. Like, that's the best way you want to be because nothing can really affect you. So, in, in Fred's mind, I'm telling you right now, in Fred Curley's mind, he will be disappointed if he don't break the world record this weekend. Like, that's what his mindset is at. His mindset is that my goal is break the world record this weekend on my birthday, 
in Nairobi, Kenya. I put it on the calendar for an entire year. I'm breaking the world record here. And I'm going to put an article up for everybody to go back and read that from last year. When they asked him, he was like, what is his goal? Fred said it last year after the Olympics. My goal is to be the fastest man in history. If I'm not the fastest man in history, I'm nothing. Like, this is what this man said. So his mindset from last season has literally been training for it. it it's like it's like it's like a prize fighter. Like, no, no, I'm only training for this heavyweight fight. In Fred's mind, he's not training to go to USA's. He thinks that shit's easy now. He's not training to make a team to him. That shit's easy. He's training to go break the world record. Now, with Ocean 12 getting in the race, I think that set it up to where he could potentially get close to it. Okay. And the reason I'm saying getting close to it, because let's not pretend like Jacobs ain't. I ain't damn near perfect. Like his running form is pretty flawless. He did just win indoors. So no matter what, we know his zero to 60 on point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, because his zero to 60 is on point, his zero to 60 is already saying, you give me a Nairobi, I'm nine, six ready now. I'm, Cause I may be a regular nine, seven, nine, eight, but you give me that. And trust and believe if you the Olympic champ, you being you with the Italian Federation, and all that, yada, yada, yada stuff. Ain't no way in hell. He finna go into this race not prepared to get the w he's he not going out there because it's just too much like it's too much riding on if he went into the race they his team going into the race saying we're about to go beat fred curly like we're not coming here to get second so that means he ready to go run and fred curly his camp saying okay well come on then because we ready to go get this record that's what i'm saying when they lock up something gotta happen like it ain't gonna be nothing no, it ain't gonna be nothing slow now and the only reason i'm saying that's because it's still nairobi the reason why I think Fred can get him is because Fred almost beat him last year. Okay, let's just say, let's, let's call it what it is. And I said this one time on the show before. The reason why Ocean's 12 always wins is because he holds it together better than anybody. He's not faster than these boys. He's just not faster. He makes the least amount of mistakes, which makes you the fastest. Now, when you got somebody like Fred Curley, his team that know that and trying to clean that up, you got to look at it from, from a sports perspective. We've watched film. We know what you look like. We know what I look like. We know that in order to beat you, we got to be at a certain spot. That's why I'm saying both of those records got to go down because neither one of these boys is going out there to just do a warm-up run. Now one of them going out here to see what they look like because if they did, they wouldn't race each other. One of them would have been like, no, nah, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to do one more than America first, see what I feel like. The fact that they both like, come on, let's lock up. I, I listen. I got Fred winning, not just because he's my boy. I got Fred winning solely on the fact that I think Ocean 12 is going to get Fred to that 60. I really do. I think Ocean 12 is going to get him to that 60. I think Ocean 12 is going to get him to the 70. But I think Fred going to be right there like he did with um did um did Norman and 200 and give just enough to do it at the end. That's why I'm like, I'm going to give it to Fred because Fred ain't going to get out. But while as you know it, when you ran, when you ran your nine six nine eight, what, what was it nine eight? You ran from behind. You was you was a two hundred meter runner in damn near last place and went and got everybody and ran off of them. That's how I see Fred doing it because Fred, a two hundred meter runner, he been training like that. Jacob's gonna get out and set the pace, and then Fred will have just enough to go catch him, and that's what's gonna make him a negative nine six race. That's in my opinion. That's why I'm saying I don't know about world record, but I think. Both of them country records is going to be gone. What did what did Jacob open up with last year? 10 0. Uh, well, do you know where it was? Fred was opening up a whole bunch of 10 01s and 03s. No, no, Fred opened up with nine. He opened up with Drake with nine. He opened yeah. up with Drake with nine, nine. And then Fred that went to last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last year. year. Yeah. And then he went to Ostrava and beat Justin with um with like nine, like nine, nine low. Yeah, Lamont Jacobs opened with a nine nine five last year. Oh, he okay, did. yeah, oh, I, yeah. I didn't think he went too far oh. behind. And then at Monaco, right before they went to um, right before Tokyo at Monaco, he got second, and, and, and it was still like a nine nine. I don't know. For me, I can tell you. So I, I just I'm telling myself right now because I trained with Ray too, and it wasn't with any of the coaches I've named. I've had a lot of coaches, so I can tell you about Francis. You know, philosophy. I can tell you what Fred's gonna look like. Um, Fred's mentality is definitely a strong mindset. I mean, he just won the, the tight race over Norman in a stack field and, and uh, uh, Mount Sack. 
I mean, he's already run sub 10. He's already run sub 20. He's already run sub 45. So, yeah, the confidence is there. My problem, I guess, right now would be with Jacobs is that it's his opener. So, you tell me he ran 995 last year. I don't know. There's too many unknowns for me in his situation. He ran 995 last year. Well, I know with Francique, you typically start where you left that last year. I can't say that I know the same about their training, so I'm not really sure. But uh, I think it's a hard ass for anybody to say you want to open up with nine seven. Like that's like let's just be honest. Like well, that's well, Trayvon, Trayvon just did, Trayvon it. did it. All right, okay. And which is the next topic we're going to get on that? <laughs> okay, and that's fine. But out of all the people that have ran nine seven, how many of them opened up with nine seven? That's very rare. You might get a that's extremely rare. So that's what I'm saying. Like that's yeah, what, yeah, Gatlin did in Doha. Was was that his first race in Doha when he ran the nine seven four? Yep, yep. That was uh, Doha May six. Oh, you, got, you talking about the year that he got suspended? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Both, he did. He opened up with nine seven that year. All right. both, both did it in his 2008 people, Matrix year. But you can't both. you can't put see you can't put them into the topic though when we be talking about it. We talking about regular people. We are not talking about both. Like you can't <laughs> <laughs> like you can't bring him into the debate. Like you can't use that card. <laughs> Well, let's just say that out of the people that ran nine seven, there's been a hand for you to actually open up with that. So for me, mm -hmm. I'm looking at it logically to say he's gonna open up with a PR like that's hard already. Uh, I don't know about his training, and it's really hard to be confident when you have a lot of unknowns. Or at least right. let me, it was hard for me. I'm not gonna put my limitations on anybody else. I don't want to do that. Respect. It would be hard for me to open up with a PR like that's tough. So I'll give the nod to Fred too. I mean, he's already raced. He already has his confidence. Like he has everything that you would want to see. Now I will say this: Christian Coleman ran, you know, with with Jacobs in indoor world. So to me, when I see somebody great race somebody else great, and I see a great time, to me that validates it. So I'm not mm -hmm. gonna, like Ray said. That first sixty is phenomenal. Now what I I'll, I'll tell you about Jacobs, like I'm a, I'm American, so like I don't hate on the dude, but if I got to root for somebody, like yes. Yeah, all day. I'll give him his credit though. When that dude stands up, it's impressive. It's very impressive. It's so very impressive. What is it that the 200 seems like you can open up really fast in the 200? Like we see it all the time. Like Christian Boma did it this year, open up really fast. You see, obviously, Arian Knighton open up really fast in the 200, but it's harder to do that in the 100. Like, as a legit question, like you guys know, probably know the sprint a lot. Oh, more. I can answer that. I can answer that ten times over. I, easily, hey. easily. And, and I let Wallace go right after me. It's the hundred meter dash is not about speed whatsoever. You can't really, re, you you can't really relax and just go in the hundred because if you don't get out the hole right, it throws your whole race off. If your first two steps ain't right, it throws the whole race off. If you come up too early like to drive face, it throws the whole race off. You know what I'm saying? In the two hundred. More You're more. Than. I know just from me running it. I don't. I breathe better than 200. You know what I'm saying? It's more relaxing because I think going into right. it, and, and I and I want to know what Wise got to say about it too. Going into it, you know you got time. So because you got time, you actually relax more, which is the weirdest shit ever. And because we all know to run fast, you gotta relax. The hundred just don't allow you to actually relax. The 200 is like, oh, soon the gun go off, well, I'm already breathing. I'm already. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I got a long way to go, so it allows my body to actually open up faster. So I personally think just from me and my personal experience in running, that was why my 200s was like easy for me to do. Because it's like, oh, bro, I ain't even finna drive. I ain't really looking. I'm finna race today, Jack. Like, I'm finna go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a fast 150, and that's what it is. The 100 is so damn technical. It's like, mm -hmm. you just, even for you to run, put it this way. Wallace is the only person, and I said, and I said it one time before, and then he knew it. Wallace is the only person that I have not closed on on a relay. And I'm talking about from Tyson to a soft on down. Wallace, 2010, I'm the rundown king, and he was on the ankle leg with me. It was at Texas Relays, and he took off, and I took off to go do my thing, and he actually turned around, looked at me, and said, "Come on, Ray." And I was like, "That's very disrespectful, you did, but it's all right. It's my boy. It's very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. What you did that day. I remember that. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. No, I'm just being honest. Yeah. See, that was that. First of all, it went to you though. The year before, I did it. I you did it, but why I didn't do it to you? Yeah, I can see if you was Greg Bowden, but me and you supposed to be boys, Wallace. And I'm telling you, tell you the true story. He was in lane three. Me and the dude trained together. We're training together. He in lane three. He right. I'm in lane. I'm in lane five. They get the stick first. 
Why well, is no good and damn well? He ain't had to do that because you know I ain't finna catch him. So I go try and catch him. We get right to about seven. I'm hitting my gear. I'm going. And this had the audacity to turn around. He didn't wave. It went like a, how you doing to the crowd? He turned, looked right at me in my face. Like I'm the only one in the race and said, come on, Ray. <laughs> Bro, what? Yeah, how you going to do me? We, 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 how you going to do no, me? No. Yo, when <laughs> I tell you, yo, when I tell you the crowd lost Bro, you was, you, you cannot lie and say that that is not what crowd. happened. I was proud. Oh, hold lost on. It. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. So three things. What two of my promise are real quick. Ray actually taught me one of them. So first thing, Ray is the okay, I'll just say this. Ray will tell you, he's the first person I've heard say, nine seven ain't catching no nine seven, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> So, Coach Stratton was the next person to say, if you mess up in the first meter of 100, you got 99 meters to think about it. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you right now, when you ask the question about the 100 versus the 200, and the 200, I made a career out of coming from the back and catching people. Like, it's there's not, the 100 is technical, and it's, it's just taxing on your body. Now, to the story that Ray just told, this almost true story that Ray just told. Almost true! What he was told, what, what he, told, allocated? he gave me 89% of it, but this is a big 11%. If you've been to Texas Relays, you know you were up there in that football stadium. Now, mind you, I didn't run the year before in Texas Relays. That's We won't even go into that. So Ray went out there and showed his butt. He I did. Pointed, I did. He pointed the baton at the dude next to him, spun it in the circle, and then <laughs> the crowd showed out. I said, okay, cool. You know, that's my dog. Hey, let's go, boy. I'm turned up too. When we were warming up in that football area, Ray looked at me and the other two guys were on the ankle leg or however many, the ones that, that he figured mattered. And he said, hey, I just want to let y'all know when I show out, I don't want none of y'all to take it personally. <laughs> I was like, dang, right? Me too. He was like, you my boy, so you should be all right. I said, so if I show out, you ain't going to get mad? You ain't going to get no chance to, but no. Nah, right, wow. no. like, man. You ain't going to get no chance to. So, so, let's just be real about that race, too. When they I, did, them, I, I did kind of ask for it. I did ask for it. <laughs> Ray, you remember that? You casually left that out. Like. Yeah, I asked for it. I did. I, I would talk mad shit in the back. <laughs> I'm the rundown king, Jack. I didn't miss more ankle leg. You got not even show up today. And he seemed so cuffed. He said so much gush. So, like, I was nervous. Like, what are you about to do? <laughs> so, now, mind you, fast forward to the race. When your market said go pow pow, just change the rule, false start, your team is out. Crowd went crazy. Let them run. Let, let them, them run. run. Right. It's Texas relays. They let us run. So, I'm like, all right. Yep. Y'all cheer so loud to let us run. I got to give you what you want. I got That's exactly you. what happened. That's exactly what happened. They weren't even supposed to be running. That yeah. wasn't even supposed to be young. Uh, it was still my moment because me and my team got second. Yep. But it was still my moment. But yeah, they weren't even supposed to be on the track. But then even when it happened, I was I was saying the same thing. I was like, no, leave him on here. No, don't you kick him off. Because Wally's going to get it today. He been, oh, come on, leave him on here. I should have let them kick y'all ass off the track. <laughs> <laughs> And Ray knows this too. When you see Texas relays and Mount Sac and Florida relays, and all, those are auditions. Those are auditions for the world championship and the Olympic team later on that year. Because you can say what you want to say. Like I, I had, I think Mike Rogers, and that's my boy too, Rambo. Oh, well, I, I should be on the relay because I said, hold on, bro. Like, ain't no block start. Ain't no blocks in the relay. Like, y'all know what I do on the fly. Like, don't use that. Let's use a relay race. Let's use, let's let's compare apples to apples. Those are auditions for people. So when yeah. you go out there, like you got to show out, you got to be ready because the coaches are watching as well. But after mm -hmm. the coach was watching, because my coach cursed me out, cat Coach Henry, I was training with him and Francis. He grabbed me by the shirt and said, Bearman, don't you ever do no stuff like we're humble. We go out there. I say, Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize for my two. When I got back to the crib, I never told Ray this, but I had two 500s with my name on them. I did not appreciate that. <laughs> 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 Come through the 447. <laughs> then what's going to happen in the last 100? Oof. But Ray told, like I said, Ray told 89% of the truth. He is absolutely correct. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, then we get on fat that because that, that's, that's kind of what happened. But the reason why I was saying that is because even me being known to be that fast on, on relays, it didn't translate to the 100-meter dash simply because – it's, it's a technical race. Like, that's what that's what everybody would always say. It's like, boy, if Ray Elwes could ever run on – if he could ever run 100 the way he run a relay, he'd be deadly. Like, but that's to answer your question, 
the 200 is much easier. And, and I'll say this right here too. The year that I PR'd, which was the same year that, that was in 2009, I was I ran 20.17. I was number 10 in the world. That was the same year that Boat was actually a second ahead of me. So I, it feels it feels a little little worse because he went 19-19 and I rounded out number 10, 20.17. But anyway, moving right along. <laughs> So this Trayvon, Trayvon did actually open up with nine seventy five. Now, let, now, well, I know what everybody say is windy because it's two point one, bro. That ain't no, that's that's legal. I don't give a damn nobody say two point one. Yeah, two point one is legal, Jack. <laughs> like I don't want to hear none of that. Yeah. It was windy. Yeah, hell no, two point one. All that means is, who? That's all you you got. That 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 was it. Like for it to not be like legal. Somebody passed gas into the wind gate. That's that's it. That's it. So to me, I'm not even gonna go back back and forth with no was it legal? No, no, no. He he opened up with nine seventy five. He opened up with nine seventy five. Now, damn. Here's the thing. Now we got it. We got it. We we have to be, not be non biased, and we got to address the elephant in the room, which is what everybody been saying on the video. Shout out to my boy Trayvon. You know he loved the show, love the deal. And I'm gonna say this right here. I knew Trayvon was gonna do something extremely, extremely, extremely crazy when I saw him at Baylor. Not based off the 200. No, when I physically, like, and I saw his body frame, and I was like, When you was oh, walking you on track, you don't lost a little bit of weight. Like, I, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, Well, you don't got a little smaller, but you ripped. Like, you, he looked like Bruce Lee. Like, I'm telling like Bruce Lee. And right. then, right when he was, uh, we was talking when he was getting ready to leave, and he, and, and you know, he was like, This hundred, though, he was like, This hundred, get ready. I'm finna get y'all something special. I knew he went playing because I could, I could tell the way his body looked. Now, the elephant in the room is what everybody says. Okay, well, you know, he did that last year. He do it every year. Like, he been doing that for years, and then when it comes time to actually get somewhere, he don't ever be nowhere to be seen. No, 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 Ray. No, no. We know who says it. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's we, I, I on know the it. other hand, yeah, know yeah. better. Continue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so, so my thing is this right here. Do y'all feel like, Actually, what do y'all feel like he's at with opening up with nine seven? Like, if you, I'm opening up with nine seven the week before Prefontaine. I mean, I'm sorry, I keep saying Prefontaine. The week before PN relays, I'm opening up with nine seven. Week before PN relays, am I in top shape or am I not? And based off the way that Rainer trains, he ain't. So, what really is the limits or the sky or whatever you want to call it for Trayvon this year? Because I feel like last year the nine sevens was a little like that's how Ray's take came because they were questionable. I can't question that nine seven. So what do y'all think his outcome gonna be for this year? I think if if he has a clear path of anything in his life personally, watch out. Because I, I think Ray, I think you said it that you knew a little bit more what was going on with him behind the scenes you know, prior to the Olympics. I really wholeheartedly feel that with the lack of races that he got and they playing it kind of smart, I think he's gonna he's gonna rebaptize that that Oregon track, bro. I, I really think he's gonna do something crazy going in going into USA's. Um he's ready and his coach, once again, his coach came to my, my apartment and did a home visit back in JUCO. So I've known his coach that long. He's gonna be he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna get all technical with it. He's gonna be fine. So you think you think okay? Let me ask you this then: Do you think that he's gonna stay consistent right here, or do you think that he he too is probably about to tip dip underneath that American record? I think. I think if he's running. Consistent because right, you know this. If you're running a certain time over and over and over again, the drop is gonna come. Wallace can contest to that because he was running back to back 1980s, 1980s, 1970, boom, here comes 196. So y'all know if y'all running a certain time and it's consistent, the top he's gonna he's gonna hit it. When he's gonna hit it, I hope that is well, you can't really plan out when they're gonna run a PB like. It can happen to US. I think I think it'll happen to USA. I think he'll I think he'll I think he'll break the American record. I think he'll break the American record in the hundred. I think if if I had to pick who will break the American record first, I think it would be him before Fred Curley. So basically you saying Fred ain't gonna go ain't gonna go no faster than than the weekend. Okay, 
Okay. I give. Okay. I give. I give. I Track you. world news. What? What you think? What? What's? What, what's in the cards with Trayvon? Seven. Yeah, I feel like so. I I spoke with him a, like a week or so ago with you know in, during my interview and and what I I had asked him like we I talked about this like yo you ran really fast during the regular season this year and then you know during the championship things didn't you know didn't go your way and. You know, saying like, you know, sometimes things just don't go your way in, in track and field. The race is so short. You guys was talking about it. It's so technical. Sometimes it just just doesn't happen when you want it to happen. I've I've I can attest to that. I have folded on the biggest stage of my life many times. It wasn't the Olympics, but it, but it was it was what the Olympics was to me. It was, hey, that's, that's how I, that matters. It was yeah, your Olympics. It was, it was your it was Olympics. What, it was my Olympics. I, I've done it before. I know what it feels like. It's, it's not fun. And um, he was saying, like, it was going to be more careful and like strategic with when he is racing which is why i think like we're not seeing him as often or we won't see him as often in the 100 this year because he wants to be able to be at the top for the world championships so that he can be at that top of the podium so i think we won't see him run a ton this year but when he does i don't see him running above like he's definitely not going to run into tens i don't think this year i think he's going to be sub 10 at all every race this year that, that's what i would say over on ten in the prelims. Has anybody? Well, prelim. I'm not talking. I don't prelims. I count. I ain't. I ain't counting the no prelim. Joe. Yeah. Has anybody done that? Anybody ever ran nine every time they touch the track? No. What do you mean? I mean, like a Mo did it. At, say what? Mo did it. Maurice Green. Yeah. He ran nine. How many times in one season? Like every single time he touched the track, he ran sub ten. I'm no, almost... only, no, I think a sophomore went what four years of never running over. I, well, we know a sophomore did for sure. Damn, he did that four years straight, bro. Yeah, I don't see him running a, a ton this year because, like, he did it a lot last year, and yeah. he saw like, yeah, it'll get you a really good season. Like, you can run a lot and then you know drop a crazy, you know, he could run a, a nine seven one, you know, by just running a lot. He could do that, but I think he recognizes I don't want to just be the regular season guy. I want to be the championship guy, and which he knows he can be, and we all know he can be. So I think that he's gonna run a little less, which would make it so he could run sub-10 every time. That's what I'm saying. I think Trayvon is still kind of finding himself in the sport right now, and not because of a lack of talent. I think that Achilles injury in 2016, I mean, it was a while before he came back. And I mean, right. I think all of us definitely rooted for him to come back. I think the sport, mm -hmm. I think it's sport. Like last year, like you're just saying, like the amount of races he ran, I can tell you because I ran a, a lot of races throughout my career. Like my season average was like, I never ran under 30 races in a season, which is, I mean, it's a lot, especially when you go out there trying to do your best. So I think he's still trying to figure out, like, that right formula. And I think once he does, we'll see some spectacular times. But what I'll say is that when you're figuring things out, if you – and I'm not saying he's not. If you're not confident in that time, like, if – I watched Justin Gatlin and Christian Coleman do block starts in Monaco. And – Actually, it was Trayvon. That's a mistake. Trayvon and Justin Gatlin doing block starts in Monaco. And when I tell you, Trayvon was strapping Gat. It was vicious. To the point where everybody just stopped and we were all sitting on the infield watching. <laughs> but every time he came back, he was talking to Dennis. Talking to him, talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. And then he said, all right, now what I need you to do is put it all together and go ahead and blast this one. And we looking like, you've been getting your butt kicked this whole day. What you talking about? Put something together. <laughs> And they shot that gun and Gap got out. Mm. I'll say, as an athlete, it's really hard to focus primarily on your lane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, boy. But if Trayvon is working on things and he has to take L's in the process, that's if he's mentally tough. I mean, that's a, that's the heart of a champion. That's the mindset of a champion. But that's also the sign of a true pro. Mm -hmm. To turn those L's into learning moments and get better by him. A lot of people, when that happens, they lose confidence. So if mm -hmm. Trayvon do that, man, the sky's the limit for that young fella. And Lord knows I want to see him run fast. I, I It's just crazy right now. I want to see Christian run fast. I want to see Fred mm -hmm. run fast. I want to see Trayvon run fast. I want to see Ronnie run. Like, I I know pretty much everybody. I want everybody to do well. But at the end of the day, how many people make the team? And how many people get medals? So. Hammer three. Hammer three. Who's Hammer getting three. left off? Hammer three. Don't ask the U.S. Me. Too early for that. Too early. Too early. This, this, this is what I say. This is what I say. I say. I say. I say this year, Trayvon. None of the years before. Uh, I mean, let me say it right. I think all of the years 
up until this this year, Trayvon's purpose has been to show God's power. I'll say that first and foremost. That was his main thing because look, I came from injuries. I'm here. I'm 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 a vessel. I think he did that already. Okay. He he's he showcased the power of God. He's done all of that. But as we all know, when you do that, you will catch them stones to the and I ain't trying to preach, but to see if you're gonna be like Job. I feel like last year he caught them stones like completely because the minute that he didn't do good, you know, he it was stone after stone after stone. And then what could happen, and even on the relay, it was stone after stone. What he showed me was one of two things can happen from this point. I can let this shit tear me apart and let it emotionally wreck me, or I'm going to use this fuel. When a man come out and go faster and do better than he did when he left off, now, bro, mentally, he like, okay, I done showed y'all the power of God. That's over with now. Now I'm going to show you the wrath of God. That's what you can see now. I, <laughs> like, that's well, I think he had like, oh, no, 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 no. I showed y'all the power and y'all stole stones at me. Okay, now you're going to see the wrath. So every time I run, you're going to see the wrath now. Like, I see two different Trayvon. I see last year Trayvon was very passive. This Trayvon is like, oh, no. I'm out of And he that's why he keeps saying it. He was Moses before he went into the mountain? There it is. <laughs> you don't came out and broke them tablets. Now he like, yeah. I don't know. I'm going, I ain't going. Now I got to go back up there. <laughs> Right. I, that's why I'm like, I think, I think, honestly, I think Trayvon going to set the pace for this year. I know we're talking about the the race this weekend. I know we're talking about that. And and, and we we never want to count out Christian Coleman. And I'm, the reason why I say this is because Christian Coleman has a, has something in him that a lot of people don't have, which is I don't, I'm don't i going to give you 100% of whatever I got, meaning oh. I might not have about 60% in my body, but I'm going to mm. give you 100% of that. I might not have, you know what I'm saying? So can't count him out. I think between Trayvon and Coleman, they going to mm. push the effort to where it's going to have to be a fast year. Because Trayvon ain't going to slow down. Let's just discard what it is. And with him not slowing down and, and shooting out the way that he shot out this past weekend, that means everybody going to have to go work on their start. Like, you're going to have to now. If you just saw what I just did to everybody, and keep it in mind, in that same race that he shot out and made them look like high schoolers, the grass was in that race. Mm-hmm. Other people was in that race. Mm-hmm. So it ain't like he like he did that on some nobodies. Right. He is what well, I'm looking at him like he he the pace setter now. So he gonna get out at that nine seven pace nine six pace every run. In order for you to beat him, you are gonna have to come on down there. Now saying the same thing, try to love your death. You know I do. That is why I think records, even the world record, will have to be broke this year. Because he has the potential to push that thing out to nine sixes. And again, I always like to go based off signs. If Fred and Lamont, who are a little taller, are next to him and, and they are there, I know you're shaking your head, Wallace, but I'm just saying, no, no. hypothetically speaking, right. Right. <laughs> if they, if they can be next to him, I think they can get one or two more steps to get in front of him, and that's going to give you a world record. Because he... I, I've, I've said it many, many times. I only see three people that could possibly break the world record. I've said it's Christian Coleman. I've said Trayvon Bromell and Fred Curley. The reason why I say those three is because of the attributes. I think if Trayvon and CC in a race, you got to go break the world record now to beat them. You, you, gotta be, you, you, you can't not or you're going to lose. How about this then, Ray? Would you agree? And I know it's not indoors, but I, I, I would stake if that's the case that the 60-meter world record will – be broken then would you well, be- it, like during the, the race sprinters don't be during the race yeah i definitely go with that i'm about to say if trayvon who run on who, who running on the 620 hey he go, trayvon go ahead trayvon, trayvon, I, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, on the 620 and then you mean on the 630 no 620 because Yang ran what was this it was he was clocked at the in the semi he ran 623 so I'm saying, so they go if 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 Trayvon the type of, of the style that he runs with, like he's he accelerates, he he has top end, but he's oh, not oh, as yeah. We we know he got top end. Oh. Some people don't believe he got top end. Yeah, yeah. Who who ain't got top end? Oh, you run nine seven with no top. I end. know what I'm about to say. I don't know how the hell you run right. nine seven with no top right. end. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm right. I'm being petty. I'm poking the bear, baby. I know, but, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, wait, think about it. Go back to 08. 
I about to say who who's win, who's winning the first thirty or forty meters of the race from Trinidad. Oh yeah, um, the seat, the one who had like eighty races on his legs. Yeah, Richard Thompson. But, but when Boat stood up, that yeah. was something to watch. A lot, yeah, Fred had that type. Up. Of, the uh, uh, I can keep going. The taller athletes have that top end. If Trayvon's really gonna win that race, he's gonna have to separate in the beginning. Like you gonna have to do yep. something. In that race to separate because I'm not trying to be rude, but their top ends are different. And I'm about to mm-hmm. say, it's the Fred's coming from a 400 base. I mean, that's it's. I'll tell you what, there is no lack of depth this year. That's going to be the fun thing to see because you don't know no. who. What's the well, what do you well, think the, the world is going to be? Well, you know, no, no, I'm going to say the sad part is, I'm going to say this. Do y'all remember back in what year it was? I, I want to say, what. Lamont, you you definitely gonna know the yeah. year when nine eight didn't get a medal. What year was that? Why did you remember at, at, at the games? Is that two thousand twelve when that was that when was nine eight didn't get a medal? Yeah, that was twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. I feel like this year gonna be one of them years I, where I, at least at USA's if you run nine eight, your mama gonna be able to see you clearly because you gonna be in the back. Nine seven didn't get a medal then, just to be clear. Yeah, nine seven then. I think whoa, we got whoa, that whoa, year. Whoa. What do you mean nine seven didn't get a medal? Tyson ran what? I thought Tyson ran nine eighty. Mm-mm. I think it got rolled to 80, but it was like 79, and then it got rolled to 980, and that's what Tyson got fourth and didn't get a medal. Okay. So, and that was, you know, a relatively, I wouldn't say slow year, but at the same time, I'm looking at it this year to where, like, when you, them boys get to run and get to moving, if you can't come, if you can't run 9 6, 9 7, it's, it's almost remarkable to say if you can't run nine six nine seven, you really can't be in the race. Back in our days, that was gonna win it. Now it's like, now nah, Jack, if you ain't ready to go nine six nine seven, <laughs> that's crazy to even say. Hey. <laughs> like, hey, I, it wasn't twenty twelve. I, I, hey, I, I don't. I'm sorry. But, what what year was 2012, it? Twenty twelve. Twenty twelve. Bailey ran a nine eighty eight and got fourth. That's what it was. Okay, I remember that year. Brian Bailey did. Yeah, Brian Bailey did. What year was it? No, Tyson ran one year and he uh, got fourth. It wasn't. And didn't get no medal. Twenty twelve was uh, Gatlin got third. What about uh, oh? What about 08? Let me check 08. No, it wasn't 08. It was not 08. It, oh, you know what? It might not have been the games. Then. It might have been the world championship. Yeah. yeah, it might have been the world championship. One year Tyson got fourth. No, he ran, oh, that year, but it doesn't count because of some other stuff. So that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson, yeah, because Tyson ran the nine eighty. But right, I thought he was nine seven nine. But you're okay, right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm about so to yeah, say it now. I remember yeah, him. Yeah. I remember him getting fourth and and didn't get a medal. And that's the right. top three so, was so like that, moving. Yeah, he was fourth with the nine eighty, and then it changed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Dog, right. that man Tyson ran nine seven one. It was a distant second in 09, bro. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. I thought you ran- Tyson ran nine seven one in 09. It was a distant second at, at the World Championships. Why you got see? Yeah. In eight, That's just no, like like I really like honestly honestly I respect everything that y'all have done, but I really need to know that. See, these are the things that people want to know. What happened after? Like, how do you console somebody like that? You can't. You don't. You can't. Like, Can we like, all like, get like, it? Like, what do y'all do? Do y'all just jump on the plane and go back to the U- go back to the U.S.? Like, what? Well, what, what well, do well do? it depends. It depends. It depends. I can tell you about the night that race, particularly that race. You know, Reza didn't go to sleep at all. He he gave all the million hits all night. He was up all night watching it. You know, um, and, and I know I let I let was you know come back. I said I'm telling you, I'm got true in New York at the boat broke the world record. I'm not making this shit up. I promise y'all. I didn't go out, and I'm known for going out. Why well, is it? I'm known for going out. I wondered the streets of New York. When I mean wondered, like I walked down Times Square, just wondering, like, 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 literally, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, like, I, didn't, I, I couldn't, I could not, because you got to keep in mind, when you line up on a line on that level, on the level that we own, you don't think you can lose. You know what I'm saying? You might be like, all right, well, yeah, he fast, but this might be the day I get him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not lining up, like, oh, I'm just gonna try and get second. You don't say that till you see both in front of you, like, oh, well, shit, go ahead, bye. You go into the race thinking you're going to win. So I know I let Wally tell it, but for me, that first 9-7, like I, when I say I wondered, like I, I just I just walked down times. I went to like three bars, tried to get a drink, and I just sat there and I was just like, I, I didn't contemplate life. I didn't contemplate life until, well, I mean life, I mean life and track and field. I didn't contemplate life and track and field until 
after he went to Shanghai, and I wasn't even there, not Shanghai, but Sydney, and I wasn't even there, and he did it again. And I just had, I, I, at that point, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to run anymore. I don't even know what I'm going to do no more. Like, what the hell, I, mama, 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 what can I do? What can I do, mama? Like, so the answer to your question is like, it just depends on how bad the ass whooping is. If it's like a, you edge me out, or we can go party now. I'm going to get you next time. But if it's like some of the shit that we don't been through, I don't know how it affected Wallace, but for me, it's just like, bro. <sighs> now, yeah, keep in mind, and it's also Wallace's fault, 2008, 2008. I really don't like Wallace. Now, now I'm thinking about it. I love him to death, but I don't like it. 2008, I told you to get your ass out the hundred. I told you to get your ass out the hundred. You ran the hundred, and I went 1006, people, PR. And this is this, answer your question. I went 1006, PR, and did not make the USA finals. Add that shit up. 10.06. Because if you hadn't have ran, I would have made it in. I was number nine. I told I you don't ten. run. I was number I was, damn nine. I was you and damn X Man. No, you and X Man was was nine and ten. <laughs> and push me out of it. Ten. That's what you just said. I was ten. But I, I, I know y'all were both. It was y'all two that kept me out of it, and I had ran ten oh six in my PR, and I never forget it because that night when the track meet was over with, I walked to the track, I walked to the stadium when everybody was gone, I looked at it and contemplated, <laughs> what the hell am I doing? You should be mad at Jeff Dips because he beat me, and he's the one who got in. But that answer your question, I'll let Wallace take it after that. But yeah, man, like sometimes like when it, it just depends on the race. Like it literally depends on the race. Like the the the, the magnitude of the race will determine how you gonna handle that night. <laughs> and he's right, and I'll say this. So in 2008, I was the first person in Olympic history, along with Randy Martinez, to be disqualified for getting the medal. So I was a, I was last, but I was first. So you know, guys say first to be last and last to be first. I was last first that time. So he got me. 2012, fast forward, I ran 1990. I had the fastest fourth place finish in Olympic history, right? You feel yep. me? Let me tell yep. you what it does to you mentally. So, yeah, in the moment, like there's pictures of me literally just sitting on the track and like I I couldn't comprehend like force. Like, really? That's I got beat by a dude who just started running the 200 this year? That's crazy. Hmm. All right, cool. Now, let me tell you the long term effects of that. Every single time you watch a track meet, and a lot of people can't take it, so they stop watching track. But every single time you watch a world championship or Olympics, you compare what you ran to who got what place. So I ran 1990. I watched the 2016 Olympics, and I was like, they got a medal with 2020. What is this? I ran sub-20 every championship I was ever in, and I don't got no medals. What is this? And I'm like, Wallace, that's called hating, and that's not something you really do. Okay, I'm going to do it myself. I'm, I'm going to have this conversation with myself. I ain't going to tell nobody else. <laughs> but <laughs> literally, like, that puts just, like, a black cloud over everything that you've dealt with in that moment. And you're right. It's hard. It's, that's a hard pill to swallow, boy, <laughs> right now. That is a hard one. Somebody breaks a world record or somebody edge you out or whatever the – that's hard. Fourth place is not somewhere you want to be. And mm -hmm. my, I got disqualified. You know what place you get when you get disqualified? Last. None ya. None, None ya. None <laughs> 2008, and they come out with. I'm not. I'm not even sure people know this. So if you make an Olympic team, they have a yearbook like you're in high school, and it has all the people's pictures and all of the events and all the. Res I'm not in there. So when you make the Olympic team as well, they got a team picture. I was in rehab because I had a fractured bone and torn cartilage in my knee. So when they were taking the team picture, I was in the rehab table. So I didn't get any results. I wasn't in the picture. There's like no evidence of me being in 2008 unless you just know because whatever. So 2012, I actually got a place. But that hurt just as bad or worse as being disqualified in 2008. Fourth place mm. sucks. Mm. The only good thing about fourth is, especially like at a trial or championship, especially right now during COVID, Ask the kid, what's the pole vaulter's name? He got fourth place at our championships. Uh, Sam Kendricks got COVID, and they flew him over there. Yeah, Matt Ludwig. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah. So fourth place worked out for him. But if you hey, hey, fourth place worked out on um, back in the gap for um, um, Dave too. David too. David Dave, Oliver, Dave, not oh, David Oliver. Um, who? come on now. Dang. Payne, Chris Payne. David Payne. David Payne. David, David Payne. Payne. David Payne. I'm putting two hundred together, but yeah, David Payne. Same. He got fourth. Same thing worked out for him too. Okay, so Question. very few times fourth place works out, but outside of that, fourth place stinks. So, would you rather 
And let's say this is at the Olympics. Would you rather get fourth place at the Olympics or be have it be like a Trayvon uh, situation where you're coming in as the number one seed and you don't even make the finals? Which would you rather have? No, nah, I'd rather get fourth. <laughs> fourth. Give man, me fourth all day long, Jack. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> give me fourth all day long. At least I was in the race, man. God mm. damn. At least I was in that thing, man. <laughs> Now at the, Olympic trials, at, the, at the Olympic trials, if you ask me which place will I rather have, fourth or last, give me last. At least I knew I had no shot. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nah, I'm still going for last, bro. Fourth. Give me last. If I, if I got fourth, I can smell blood. <laughs> if I got last. fourth, I, I I can smell blood. If I'm in the back, ah shit. How much money I'm it, making? Exactly. Fourth. Like I got, I just got dead last, boy. I about to even race. I might even made a race. These boy next week. I gotta go to work. Yo, I seen, <laughs> yo, I, seen, I, seen, I seen too many top eight. So no, I've seen too many guys. I seen too many guys who could bench three thirty and squat six hundred pounds, crying like little babies after getting fourth. Hey, I'm gonna say this, and I think Ray will be right there with me. If I get fourth place, me and Ray gonna be in the drug testing area conducting the drug test. Come on now, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> no. I got a cup. I got a cup. You need something to drink? I got something to drink for you too. Go ahead and get y'all, ready. Go ahead and get ready. I, y'all, the people, everybody who beat me needs to come in here. I need to see this. Once y'all pass, everything is good. But but. And so then we talk. <laughs> hey, some, somebody in the chat was asking about. Hey, as, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we've been on here. See, we're having every time folks get on the radio tape, man. We forget it be a show. We get to talk like we're on a four-way phone call. These folks <laughs> in the comments and everything. I got one last question. I asked it before, but I'm going to ask it again. You ready? Go ahead. All right. Would you rather run 960 legal or 948 with a 2.1? Whew. 960 no matter the 94 is not gonna count. Shit me, get my 94, Jack. Shit me, get my 94. I'm running with that. You know how many folks put win at times on they when they in the track track meets? Now me putting that real shit down. <laughs> you know how many put they legal time? They put they they illegal, they put they they whatever they went closest to 2.0 win they did. That's what they known for. So for me, I'm nine four man. Ray, you need a two point one. No, I didn't. I don't give a damn to say I run nine four. I'm going with the nine boat Coach, and the legal. <laughs> Coach, what you say? What, what you, you run nine six zero legal? Nine six zero. No, no, why I'd say nine six zero because I done heard y'all talk. Okay, I done heard y'all talk. See, see, people don't know what goes on before the before the meet before the race goes off in that warm up area. Man, that motherfucker ain't running no. Man, <laughs> boy, I know how y'all get down, bro. <laughs> I know how y'all get down. Okay. I know how I gotta get down. Let me let me let me gonna have to bring that nine for the day. I'm gonna bring it today. Let me drop a little story on people in 05 <laughs> USA's Ray. You was right there. I think while she wasn't, I don't think you was at the venue. I think you were still uh you may have been still working out your contract or whatever the case may be. But you ran. It's the hundred meter prelims, Ray. You out. it was me, Ray, Bernard, Capel. All of us was in that one area, and the mysterious false start <laughs> that all happened, and that man walked. Hold on, back hold on. I, I want to get my, I want to get my, um, get my shout out to um Kermit the Prowl right now. Hold on, go ahead. You keep talking though. That man walked back <laughs> and said, and I quote, "Ray, you can quote me because I was in the next seat in that same lane." Leonard me and Leonard kind of walked up behind us. She said. Don't worry, Nike's gonna put me back into the race. No, you can't say names on race tape. Nah, you oh, just gotta God. say. Oh, my bad. Damn it, I can't edit that out, man. It's a live show. <laughs> my, my bad. It's a live bad. show. He's he said, Boop. it's gonna put him back in the race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just... my, my bad. <laughs> and yes, I was in now state governments, state. man. <laughs> California. What? Yes, I was there. What, 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 what was that Carson? It was that Carson. Because I got yeah, was that Carson there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the 200. Well, since we're gonna go there, I'm gonna go ahead and go there before we go to the comments and we'll get in oh. for about a good 10 I'm 15 minutes before we I'm, I gotta get out of here. Y'all, y'all yeah. about to make somebody mad. He's oh. not lying, first of all. Okay, people, oh, oh, he's oh, not oh, lying. Ray, oh, oh, Ray was a part of conspiracy too, but we ain't gonna touch that one. I guess you're gonna drink your tea too, huh? You're gonna drink your tea and put me on the spot, huh? You're gonna put me on the spot like that. Huh? Okay, you yes. do that to me. All right, cool. Yes, <laughs> okay. I'll say it like this here, people. There's a lot of truth to that story. There's a lot of truth to that story. 
Hi. There's so much truth to that story that Gat was on the fence with his feet crossed, watching us get ready to run again with a smile. Like, oh, I got one round off. <laughs> oh, black. Y'all chill out, bro. <laughs> Yo, hey, 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 but in all due respect, it's because it, it truly it wasn't his fault. That that's that's the beauty of why we have well, well we don't have instant replay, but that's the beauty of why we have um the protest, like that's why you can protest. Then anything, like I was just at Baylor this past weekend, and shout out to Kadera Gray. I was down there talking to Kadera, and I was talking to one of Kadera coaches who now is like, um, he also does, um, he works on the um, the board for that. And I was explaining how in 2011 I didn't make the finals because of Kadera. The reason being is because he slapped me in my chest at like 10 meters in because he was running wild. Cordero. But anyway, make a long story short, Kadera Gray, yeah, he did that. So, but anyway, make a long story short. Gat was able to get back in the run in in, in the in the events, or I'm gonna call it that. Not because of Nike, but in all due respect, he had a great protest, which was no, y'all didn't catch the dude who flinched. He was the one, and shout out, it was, it was actually Mark Jell's my training it was partner. Not, yo, Mark was, was swinging on everybody. Mark was it was not Mark, yo. I promise you. Listen, great. I gotta we tell the story great. how it happened though. Ray, we was watching. Ray, we I, was I gotta tell the story how it happened, though. I hey, gotta say, tell the story how it happened. Y'all, pitching. Let's fast forward three months after that race in the summer. Capella and Gatlin get into it, and Capella Ooh, and Rome. And Rome Capella tells Gatlin, "You ain't gonna." Fall if you don't start start one more time, <laughs> go ahead and tell the story. <laughs> I'll go. And what did Gat say? That way, you said it. Gat yeah, say, "If you well, keep it it wouldn't really matter because you ain't gonna be in the race no way. Oh man, you can't say that. I'm ready to swing on you. <laughs> in the race anyway, I have to worry about it. <laughs> I ain't gotta worry about you because you won't be in the race no way when I fall start. <laughs> we gotta fight. <laughs> a lot of stories about track and field. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, there's a lot of inside stuff, boy. I be see that why I'm glad Wally on the show tonight. So y'all gonna understand these stories I be telling. They they be they be legitimate, boy. These folk be out there. These folk be out there. Hey, but anyway, I'm going to get to the comments. But, yes, Justin was able. Here's the thing that that did, though. That actually changed the course of history to today. Because until that moment, we did not have three semi, three rounds in the semis. Until before the end, it was always top four. Let me say, before that moment, it was top four in the semis go to the finals. When that happened, that was the first time they did three different um, semi-final races instead of you know top four top four they did three three Next three two. or whatever two that came in from that false start you're talking about so today the reason why we still got them damn rounds is from that false start because it used to be semis oh no jack ain't but two rounds top four top four whoever get it is in there that year they had to introduce a third round so that gary could get back in it I don't like that though. I don't like the. I hate that third round. I, I when I say hate it, I'm be honest with y'all. My early career, that's why I made so many teams because I knew, oh, top four. I'm in that thing. Damn, I gotta get top three in that. Oh shit, here we go, little monkey wrench. But yeah, like that's that's how we got to this point. We got from that story you talking about is why all the fans now get to see semifinals with three heats instead of two. All right, y'all. We got to move on because we got to get all this thing in about another 15, 20 minutes. I know all of us got to get to work and doing stuff like that tomorrow. So, but we got to get these people their time on, on, on this course, this QA. So, this is what we're going to do, y'all. It's 10 06. We are turning this show off at 10 30 with what? the end of QA. So, look, first of all, shout out to my boy Rotten and Boat Right. That's why his comments are still up right now. Rotten and Boat Right has came in another week and dropped a $50 donation. I appreciate it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I had to hit my team up like, hey, man, where does money go? Like, I don't even know where it go. Y'all know we don't do it for that, but I strongly appreciate that. And when you do that, I make sure I want to highlight you. There was another person in here. I'm sorry. I can't remember who you was, but you also did the same thing. It's greatly appreciated. We'll figure out how do we going to give Ashton. all this money back. It was Ashton. I think Ashton shout out to them. Ashton and like shout out to them for that, man. We we truly appreciate that because the, the, we, the four of us, even with Wallace, man, I'm, I'm just glad and grateful that he was even able to come on here because, again, it showcases the fact that we're not doing this for the fact of we want money from it. We're doing this because we generally are in the sport, love the sport. We want to help the sport grow. Shout out to Track, and Field, Track, Track World News because I don't know if y'all know it. He's actually about to be at the, the, the Punts Track Meet on May 12th doing post- interviews like that's major bro like you going all the way to puerto rico to take your stuff over there so 
I just appreciate you. Appreciate everybody on here. So with that being said, all right, y'all, we are about to open up these comments. We all have been looking at them. We've been kind of glancing back and forth what y'all saying. So right now we're giving y'all the flow. All, we already know all y'all questions are going to be directed to a wallet. So go ahead. Let them have it. Damn yep. it. We're going to sit back and I'm going to drink my drink and y'all go ahead and start y'all questions. <laughs> Gabby, somebody said, who's making the team in the women's 200? I'm going to go with Gabby. First and foremost. Who else y'all got? Ooh, I, got I need. This. I'm going with. I'm listening. Mm. Abby, I'm going with Gabby and Abby. Third place. Gabby, Gabby and Abby. Abby. Yeah, you think so? Gabby yeah. and Abby. Abby Steiner is going to make that team. I don't know. What about old girl who got second in Mount Sac? Or the person who ran Gabby to the line of Texas relays? I think she's uh Nigerian. Is that not? Is she Nigerian? Oh no, I'm thinking yeah. of Ophelia. The Ophelia is Nigerian. Girl? Yeah, Ophelia is Nigerian. No, nah, I'm talking about the girl. She went to what? Alabama. She was on a junior. Team. Oh, oh yeah, Alabama. Tamara Clark. Okay. You're doing Tamara Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I got I got Gabby just on the strength of what uh, just on the strength of you know what she did last year, how she's been running thus far. Yes, and third. and you know, Tonja Buford Bailey's one of the best coaches in the damn world. Mm -hmm. And Tamara is a good pick as well in, in their training partners. But let me tell you something, boy. See, let, me, let me tell you something. You see that Abby Steiner? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The gift. She's being managed right. The curse. In about two weeks, she got to go to Oxford. And Wallace is the only one on this panel, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't know where Track World went to school at, but I assume it's LSU. Oh, no. LSU. I just, okay. I just fan LSU. <laughs> Wallace is the only one who knows what that, who knows what that, 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 that oven, that lava, that volcano of the SEC meet is. So. If she could walk out of that meat unscathed, everything else would be a piece of cake. <sighs> so we all, so I, so then it's sounding like, and I, she's the biggest name in the trash. So I just gotta say, so we we counting out Shakira then for the two hundred, for the two hundred. Oh yeah, I'm counting out. Y'all right. think she'll double? Like y'all think she'll? What well, what? Well, well, here's why I'm gonna say I'm gonna count it out. I'm gonna count it out because I'm gonna go from the athlete standpoint. Because I remember on my good year 2009, the one thing that I was told is that Ray, the 200 is if you're if you're a hundred meter runner, you know, no disrespect to Wallace, if you're a hundred meter runner, the 200 is a backup. If you don't make the team in a hundred, you run a 200. Absolutely. That's your backup. You're supposed to make the team in a hundred. If you make the team in a hundred, you're not gonna play around the 200. So that's why I'm saying, nah, I don't see her in a 200 because I don't foresee her having to. But then again, damn, she did it. We all talking about Shakira might be out and Dennis might be out to get some double medals. So I take back what I said. I'm going to go with that same thing. She's going to make it. Somebody asked in the comments, Wallace, do you think 9 2 is possible? I'm the wrong person. 9 2? 9 2? I'm nine the wrong two. person because we ain't nine even at nine four yet. <laughs> Come on, nine. But, 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 but when wait a minute. Right, they told wait us, a minute. They you told just us sleeping. seven, and they told us that we can't run faster than nineteen three. And they everybody sits here and tries to put limitations on you, and I don't really believe in that. I mean, I if you ask, can somebody run six seconds? Then I'm gonna be like, no. But nine two, do I think it's possible eventually? Maybe not this year, next year, maybe twenty years from now. But yeah, eventually, I think somebody will. I think it's I think is is it's doable wind data for sure. What did Gat run that time whenever they had that wind tunnel? Bro? It was yeah. down too. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm like. It, 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 I think that wind was, like, that was is fifty mile an hour wind. Hey, whatever you got. to Hey, the way the wind been blowing in 2020, boy, you might get one on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? Who who else over here? Need question? What, what what they got? They popping up pretty fast. Question going quick, man. Oh, What's y'all USA men's football one lineup, and can they be? Well, we don't have one yet. We can't get. We can't even answer that question until June. But we don't know who's gonna make it. That, I, that, that we can't even answer that. I tell you, I, I tell you, who the hell won't be on it? Who? Hmm? Trayvon Gillespie. <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah. Come Next question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, we won't even talk about that. Yeah, we gonna we gonna go on to the next question. Uh, and I say whoa, that. Whoa. I say that. I say that respectfully, man. We 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 poking at you, son. Don't don't mm -hmm. don't trip. Good. Hey, but all jokes aside, though, all jokes aside, if it was me, the way old boy Arian just ran first leg, he might be on first. Fred, oh, might, be, Fred might be on second. Noah might be on anchor. Uh, or I might put Arian on third. 
and I might put Kenny on first. I don't know. It depends on what happens at the championship, but you leaving you would leave Coleman off the relay altogether. I don't know what happens. I'm saying it depends. It, on it depends on what happens on the, on the relay. I mean, at the okay. championship. Hey, here's my question. Hey, y'all gonna sound y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna start tripping, but y'all gotta hear me. Why doesn't anyone even remotely take Grand Holloway into consideration? What you mean? For any, for any of those relays. It's the for any of those relays. You, for you, the four you, by four, I think they might. The four by one, like, because uh, the start for the for the one the one hundred ten meter hurdles is just so different than the start for the hundred. Like, because you have to like the the seven step, the eight step, like it's it's just it seems like to be so different. The four by four, I can see, because that leg that he put up at the uh, what meet was it? Like two Tom weeks Jones. ago, Tom Jones. Yeah, but did you see his leg on that four by one on the third leg? The leg that he naturally ran. It was I too. It's. I feel if he was gonna do one relay, it would be four by four before four by one. But you got schedule first, though. Honestly, if you want to be honest, typically yeah. it's not. It's not. Yeah. They think he can't run. It's because they have a round, or their finals might be the same day or after the four by one. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's running a relay before they run their final. Like that. Just not doing that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like last um, year, you in Tokyo, we we asked, like, hey, you want to run? I can't. We asked Devin Allen, asked Aaron Knighton, we can't. So there's a good question I have to put up on the screen for Wallace. What's it say? Hold on. I gotta go. What advice, advice what advice would you give to a fan 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 Bula. fan? Fan Bula. Well, Where would you get the big Joe? Someone told me at one point they said, you know, Wallace, you're an elite finisher. So you can work on your finish, but how much better do you really think you can get? Why don't you work on the not so strong part of your race, which would be a start? So for him, I, I wouldn't say he needs to be winning a race off the curve, but if you just watch Aaron, like you're chasing him down, I I would try to stay as close as possible. Stay in contact and give yourself a chance to be able to go catch somebody. But a lot of these guys are getting faster. So you got to make sure you're doing that as well. And then, so one thing about me, what I did, like I had a bad start. I literally went to any and every. Oh, you didn't have no bad start. You didn't have a start. Stop yeah. lying. So, <laughs> so what did I do? I went, I learned everything you can about a block start. And I tried to make sure I was efficient as possible. So that's what I would do. Like even Fred, I talked to him about that as well. I'm like, man, you can take off a tenth of your time just by becoming more efficient. So there's some things that you can fix to help you more efficient that'll keep you in the race and give you a chance of winning. Well, I I, I speak to his coach every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And for those who think that Mike Holloway isn't working on his start, it's delusional. Mm -hmm. Not only is he working Not on his start. Mouth, man. I told y'all, Mouse in my top five of coaches. He on my mind. I've seen, I've seen evidence. They work on his start at nauseum. At some point, we have to now say, is it a mental thing now? Because they work on it. They work in it all the dude. Dude, Mouse's sixth sprinter ran 1017. I think they work on starts a lot. His I'm number not- six guy ran 1017. His quarter miler, his 44 second quarter miler ran 1011. Bolt ran 958. Did he have a good start? The, the 958 race he did. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. So, so. He caught a good start. Then was he efficient? Could he have not cleaned up technically? Yes or no? Be honest about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, yeah, 2012 was an ugly start. All right, mm-hmm. then. So 2012 was an ugly start. Times aren't good indicators of if you're efficient or not. I'm just gonna be honest. Time is a good indicator of talent, but I wouldn't necessarily say efficient. So I'm not saying that they're not working on it. I'm not crazy. Like I know where he is. I get all that, but. I think you'd be remiss to say that every coach knows every single thing. And I would say that maybe there's something that they can learn to help him become more efficient or help him personally. Mm-hmm. Just because it works for me doesn't mean it works for you. So I know mm-hmm. he has 10, 16. I know he has 10. I know he has Grant. Grant has a phenomenal start. I know he's had countless. He had Capel. I can, I can name a bunch of people who came out of yep. camp. Yeah. Yeah. I, I give you that. I've seen I've seen the body of work. It's phenomenal. I get all that. But regardless, I train with Tyson. So how come I don't have the same start as Tyson? Damn. So I'm saying there might be things that are unique to him that can make him more efficient or better. So yeah, that's not a shot at him. I'm just saying mm-hmm. if if you want to be great, you gotta find a way. And it's not necessarily gonna be doing the exact same thing you've always done. 
Maybe he needs to run more 100s. Maybe he needs to run more 60s. Maybe he needs to run more 4s. I don't know, but. Oh, he did. They working. They yeah, working. for sure. I'm, I'm not doubting they aren't. Good question has been put up, but I already asked this question. At, um, so I know the answer to it. It's funny because I asked the person that's on the show. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> where is Laird at right now? Based on what I was told, he's dealing with some personal situation. So let's just all send our prayers out to him. And, okay. Yeah, he'll make it through. Say less. Say less. Next right. question. Because the Matthew Boylan is fast, man. Shout out to the homie. Mm. Bernard Williams. Shout out to him. I'm just reading these comments. You said go through them. It's, it's, oh, that's a good one. I'm going to put it up on the screen. What is Shakari really training? Kevin oh. A wants to know that. Is Shakari really training? Oh, oh, is Shakari really training hard? I will answer that question this way. Um... I'm gonna answer it a couple. I'm gonna answer it two ways. It's sad because I'm gonna use myself for example. I'm gonna use myself for example, and I'm put myself out there. I used to smoke a lot of black miles. <laughs> Why does it tell you? I used to drink a lot. I used to smoke a lot of black miles. I used to drink a lot. I used to party. I used to do everything. But guess what? I still did. I still ran fast. I still made teams. I ain't even really go to practice. So to answer that question is like sometimes, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to say athletes should do that but sometimes you have a talent to where it's like i really ain't got to train hard <laughs> like I, I, you finna get the business regardless so the question of asking is your carry training hard don't really matter because she showcased you gonna get the business like i'm dropping 10 sixes so that means if i don't train hard you can get 10 eight <laughs> like it don't matter it's like I mean, let's just, let's just call it what it is. The same thing would happen with Boat. You know, when 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 we was like, you know, Boat just partying and doing this. He was. But guess what he also was doing? Still whooping our tail. So it don't matter. He was <laughs> doing all the ass night. talking about eating 20, 20 come on. McNuggets right before come the race. Come on. Before the race and still. Ha ha y'all. Right. Y'all come on now. And so the answer to that question is like. When you with certain people, it don't matter. Is she training hard or if it don't? It don't really matter because she's showcased to us that no matter what. I'm going to be ready when I need to be ready. Now we're not going to talk about that one prefontaine race, but outside of I don't that, why I don't we can't? Why? why? Why what? What what time did she run? Right? She ran what? Eleven one. Eleven two. When? She gave up after the, after thirty meters. She exactly. Was, I want to. I want to. I want to. You saw a girl turn into a little oh, boy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm like. Saying. Like people are on her, but she still ran fast, and she didn't even run the whole race. Come on, Jack. She could have ran maybe ten nine if she ran now, the whole now, race. And now this is the thing about it. And I'm glad you said that because the winner went 10-5. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, what? Pretty time was, was on first race, but come on, let's just call it what it was. Like, damn. Like, if they had them in a 10-5 race, it wouldn't have been that bad. And <laughs> like, said after, at, 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 the, at the Olympic trial, she, she said, I'm done for the season. So they asked her, do you want to run the relay? That was a whole big thing. No, I want to run the individual event. I'll see y'all next season. But mentally, like, she shut herself off, and then she picked it back up to go out there and probably – I'll get. let's let's be fair. What, 11-0, 11-1, if you want to be extremely hard after saying you – come on, man, that's tough. Damn, dog. Oh, but 10-5, I ain't saying there's no 10-5. I get it. I'm not crazy, but – Come on. Can, let me let me ask let me ask the both of y'all something and then you get back to the questions. All right. Both of y'all were Nike athletes. Okay. You all can't tell me that y'all didn't know what the prefontaine start list was before the public knew. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Really? No, y'all we didn't really know? did not. Bracey no. didn't know. He, he got no, I'm being one of the honor with you. And then Wiley can probably back it up. Like the years I ran at Prefontaine, bro. I didn't know what lane I had. Most of the time, I didn't know if I was in to like that that Tuesday. What's and then it? I ain't know what lane I had to like that night before. Yeah, the meat director there. Like he just retired. So John Capriotti just took over as the meat director there. But I'll tell you, historically, they had their A list of people who they targeted, and it might be January. You know, you're getting the invite. But mm -hmm. right, just as much as I can, you were one bad race from getting the axe and, I, and getting uninvited from every race in the Diamond League. So Boy, come on now. Did I know she was going to run? Nah. And I imagine it probably wasn't until after the games that she – I can't say that. This is me guessing. So I don't know this for a fact. I would guess that after the game, she probably got a phone call like, yo, you running. I'm not running. 
we're gonna touch this contract if you don't. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Like, like that part, he can go on and save because I can bounce, but that shit was in mine. Like, no, nah, nah, Ray, you, 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 you got two. You got, you better be at mm -hmm. peeing relays, prefontaine. If you decide you don't want to come. <laughs> Don't oh, oh oh no the USA is then you ain't gotta be there you ain't gotta be there don't show up and see what happened <laughs> <laughs> free they gave you an option it was like okay you don't come we'll find you that's okay pin and don't come we'll find you don't show up at USA's see what's gonna happen ain't no fine oh uh, we got free money coming up <laughs> Dude. dog they were stripping dudes for getting hurt I heard oh, yeah, you know what I heard what happened to Walter Dix yeah said, I'm gonna go on and put that question up because a couple of people don't ask already so. Who y'all got making the women's USA 100 meter team? Miss Clutch. Hmm. Ms. I got Clutch. my three. Ms. I Clutch. got my three. I got my three. Miss Clutch. Got? Let's hear it. Who you got, Ray? I got Shakiri. Okay. Okay. That really about where it stop at. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> okay. I got I got Shakiri. I got Miss Clutch, Tiana Daniels, mm. and I'm sorry. I've been singing this girl praises since she was a freshman at USC. T.T. Terry going to make that team. So how you going to go with Abby in the 200 but not the 100? Yeah, see, I, see, see, Cause, see cause I don't see. better think, I don't think Abby. I don't think Abby's going to double. What about Surges? What about Surges in the 100? Oh man, listen, dog. Listen, I was at the meet. I, I had front row seat to that eight, that that 1087, yeah, bro. Yeah, there you go now. Seat, Come on now. Come but, on now. <laughs> she, but. Mm, mm. TT's different, dog. TT like TT's different, man. I like TT's different. I like that. I'm TT's going Shakiri. I'm going Shakiri. I gotta ride with my dog M Beasel. I've been telling y'all that. I gotta ride with my dog M Beasel. She open and up? I'm nah, not yet. And she Puerto Rico. And I'm going with that third place spot. I'm actually giving it to Abby. And now the reason why I'm giving, I, I, I'm gonna explain all of them. I'm respectfully, I'm giving it to Shakira. That, that's just out of respect. I'm giving it to Mary, Mary Bell because I feel like what she showcased indoors is good enough to where, I mean, let's just not play like the girl don't went 10 nines before. And I'm giving that third one to, um, I'm giving that third place to um, Steiner for one reason, one reason only the calendar. That's it. That's it. Like the calendar is in their favor. The calendar yeah. is in all the college kids' favor. You want to call it what it is? The college kids got a better shot at making this team than anybody because it, it's the calendar is set up in their favor. So because it's set up in their favor, I gotta go with, I gotta go with Abby. But here's the flip side to it: I'll go with Abby making the team, but I won't go with Abby meddling. That's the flip side to it. I don't. I, I see her peaking at USA's. And making the team, but not meddling. I see Shakira making it. The only reason, not just because Mary Beth, my dog, but I, I saw a lot of, let's just call it what it was. The indoor, she didn't PR. Everybody else PR the Beatle, though. Let's just, let, let's just not let's just not play it right. Like she didn't even PR. Right. And she also ran with her so ass muscle strained and it was taped up. So you got to put that type of stuff into account. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and say, if you can blast out the 60, you're going to die the last 40 because you've mm -hmm. already ran sub 11. So I'm going with, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting TT Terry. I'm not disrespecting nobody else out there. I'm only looking at simply when it is and who done what. I'm not going to take Shakari down no matter what. That's Shakari. Anybody else out there? Yeah. And outside of that, because of the clock. Now, if it was usual, I'd be like, ain't no way the college kids gonna make it. But I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like Abby don't look perfect. Like, like we can't hate on her. Like she looks damn good. She looks damn perfect. So I'm not gonna take her. I'm not gonna take her out of the top three. I think so, it's too early. I think it's too early for my. It's mind. definitely too early. It's way it. too early. But based off, like me, like me and Lamont said last week, based off this week, those my three. It might change that week, <laughs> but based off this week, yeah. they're my three. They're yeah. my three for this week. Yeah. So y'all ain't bringing up Briscoe. I ain't hear Briscoe once. Yeah, but I said these LSU girls coming in. in well, because Bris I got because I had you got Briscoe I, making it. I got Briscoe making it, man. I mean, like she, she gonna make it. She gonna make it. The four by one leadoff. I got Briscoe getting that top four now. Top four, top five. 
I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I, I got risk of making it, I, but excuse me. The, I've you know Briscoe's been on the show. I love Briscoe. I got Briscoe making it. I'm not gonna count her out. But the only reason why I'm saying those three is just based off of seasons. Briscoe's already opened up. She's already moving. Um, Shakari ain't did nothing, and then that's just Shakari. And um, Abby is showing like like come on now now let's just call it what it is. When Abby won at LSU, Briscoe was in the race. And Briscoe, my sister, like she's a race tech affiliate. That's why I'm like, I'm not hating on her. I'm like, look at what she did then. So you got to catch up to somebody who's already ready now, which means Abby ain't going to die. Come on, y'all already know her coaches is. Abby's not going to die between now and USA's. She's not. She's not. She may die between USA's and Worlds, but not between now and USA's. So respectfully, you got to be like, I can't put none of these people in front of you until these people get in front of you. Yeah, but what about you got Oliver who ran fast already? Yeah. We got a girl. What's the girl name? Um what's the name at, at Baylor Chris last weekend? Sturgis I was there. Like she don't she don't ran fast too. I mean, like girl, she Arkansas just ran 1080 as well. It's windy, but yeah. she's well, Jacob who, who, Baylor, she, who she trained got, with? Who? Uh Brittany Brown. Who's she with now? I don't know, honestly. I thought her name was Samir Brown. No, Brittany. Uh, Brittany Brown. Brown. The young girl mm. from Iowa that medal that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But but my reason being why I picked Tiana Daniels because people looking at me like I'm crazy in the chat. Name since 2019. Name name a team that that girl did not make. Man. That girl shows up every championship meet. Brittany. She's the most consistent one since the end of 2018 going to 2019. She's the most consistent sprinter on the U.S. side thus far. She's made every team. And she's actually made finals at Worlds and Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't so Joe, you can't disregard consistency. Flo got them girls ready to roll, man. And dude, and she got a bunch of 10 second girls that she's training with down there in Austin. Come on. The bro. female scene ain't gonna be the t- female scene gonna be hard to make. I'm telling you not if I'm so excited for this year, USA is because I truly feel like this year gonna give us everything we want. Because you really can't, like, back in the Maurice days, you knew Mo was going to make it. Back in the Tyson days, you knew Tyson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you knew. But, like, right now it's like, and, and again, back in Marion, you knew Marion going to make it. Carmelita, you knew Carmelita. You know what I'm saying? You knew who was going to make it. Now it's really like, who can sustain them three rounds? Right. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking yeah. more at, I'm looking more like not who fast. Who gonna sustain them three rounds? Because everybody gonna be running fast. So right. who can make it through all three of them rounds running fast? I got. That's one why question. I'm saying Abby, because college prepares you for that. If you can't do nothing else, you are gonna be ready round. to goddamn go round after round after round after round after round. If, if you don't use all of your rounds in college, that too. That's that too. What you see, but. So- Here's the thing you got to say about Abby, though. She's not using all her rounds of college because you'll see her do 100 and a 200. And it's like they really treat her like a pro. She's not going and going and do 100, 200, 4 by 1, 4 by 4. She ain't doing that. She's no, going yeah. to do 100. She does a lot. Yeah, she's what doing that 4 by 4. She, oh, hold yeah, on, she, hold on. She, she runs all those events. Mm-hmm. Right. No, no, but, and, but, and one track meet, though. Like in but, one track meet, every track meet, she's not doing that for a long like Every at, track at, meet. At Drake, they ran her in one event. And they pulled up from the rest of the meet. See, that's why I'm saying it's like, you know what I'm saying? She do, she do all of them, but every single track meet, she's not doing all of them. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but the meets I've watched and looked at her on the schedule, I didn't see her going four by one, hundred, two hundred, four by four, long jump. I didn't see her doing no, doing no, um, no, no mad bowling stuff. And not, I'm not just throwing shade, but I'm throwing shade. But I'm just saying, I didn't see her doing no stuff like that. So I feel like she can, she will be prime fit for USA's, but won't make it to Worlds. That's what I'm saying. Like at Worlds, she she'll fade out. She won't hit the podium, none of that. But I do got her making that top three. I mean, come on, y'all. If you just look at that damn LSU race, that girl looks. Come on, she looked like damn Ocean Thirteen. All we doing is talking right now because none of yeah. us know because we ain't even seen everybody open up yet. We ain't seen, haven't seen Shakari open up. You ain't seen your Barry. But there's a lot of unknown right now. And and, and let me tell you, the biggest unknown right now is what Shania Collins. Oh yeah, 
I just saw her on social media as well. You're right. 360 asked a question. I'm going to answer this really quick. Go ahead. Oh, said, we how, passed time, but go ahead. Say how often do the, does the U.S. change their qualifying standards? Well, the standards aren't set by the U.S. The standards are set by World Athletics. So they, the U.S. typically follows whatever World Athletics sets. And the way they set their standards are typically based off the year before. So they get an average of the top marks, and they find it, and they make the, the, the marks there. Now, one thing they're trying to do right now with these – What's it called? The 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 ranking points. They're trying to make the standard so hard that only an elite amount of athletes actually hit those. That way you have to go to the meets and get points. So they're trying to make the standard super hard and everybody else will have to rely on points. So yeah, you gotta either be really good or compete a lot. It's one exactly. or the other. So I hope that answers your question, boss. Okay, we got one more question because it was paid for. Shout out to <laughs> Shout out to a, a Ray Taker for life. Mumbojum three says, "What's gonna happen with when, when Arian starts lifting weights? Good or bad? I didn't know he went lifting weights, bro. Is that true? Fred Curley what? also wasn't lifting weights until last year, dude. Dude, <laughs> Wade, I, I, dude, Wade Van Niekerk set the world record and was not lifting weights. Lance Bromit told me to my face when we was down there for the coaches' convention this past December." I don't know about all that. I'm well, telling you, yo, yo, listen, yo, 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 your your well, 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 I think we probably got to define lifting weights because some oh, people be that's, lying. That's some people be lying because they be like, listen, I don't lift weights, but you go in there and you are gonna do some leg press, leg curl. You just ain't even doing Olympic hey, stuff and all that. Weight, but what, <laughs> you ain't just you doing some push ups and sit ups or something. You ain't just waking up like I'm gonna go run. Like you doing Wallace, 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 you're the closest to Wallace. That's my that's my coach. That's my coach. I can call him. I can't right now, but it's too late. I can call him. But I dare one of you all to disagree with me. I dare you. Oh yeah, man! I ain't. I I, I ran that fast. I ain't did no speed work yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the common thing to throw somebody off, man. I ain't did no speed work yet, so, man. So, I'm getting so, so, so you hey, can't hey, you know tell me that happens when people talk about speed work, but they but they don't also use that with waste. Come on, yo, yo, you know, you know, who's going for you. <laughs> right, you know who the stories are saying that who. You know, Mike Rogers. Mike Rogers. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Hey, shout out to our little Mike, brother bro. Mike. Mike, 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 Mike be what? Mike, shout out to our little brother Mike. But Mike, the king of that boy, ain't even be you yet. We ain't even wearing Mike. Mike, come on, bro. Right, right. It's a damn shame. Me and Wallace both knew exactly who he's talking about, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey that, 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 that's all our little brother. But boy, that Mike, that boy, when Mike play poker. Mike gonna play poker. Hey, I don't, I ain't need no speed work, boy. He gonna yeah, man, uh, let me see if I can show you. Can y'all see my finger right now? You see this like little mark right here? How it's different, whatever color. Right there in the middle on your knuckle, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first time I lifted weights in Arkansas, I went to the room. I was trying to bound from platform to platform. I broke my finger. Coach Brahman lost his damn mind. So I'm gonna tell you, like my first year at Arkansas, I really didn't lift weights heavily either. Now, what I'll tell you, uh, if if he's anything like I am. Weights don't necessarily make you run faster, but they mm -hmm. do help you prevent injury, and they also help you maintain a peak longer. So it's basically – because you got to think about it. When you're at home, everything is normal. You're on a regular – you're on a regimented training schedule, diet, etc. Everything is the way it needs to be. The moment you go overseas, everything is down the drain. Yep. So when you lift weights and you train hard, you create your base, it's literally so your 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 peak or your body can withstand, like, the things that you have to do throughout your season. So for mm -hmm. me – and and – I guess it could be based off your strength coach as well. Just like there's good track coaches, there's good strength coaches. There's bad track coaches, there's bad strength coaches. So, hey, yeah. we got to add this in there too. What is that? This I know to be factual. Hmm. Kim Collins never lifted weights. And he'll tell you to your face. Like, he, he, told he me will literally tell you. No, 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 no. He told I don't, me I don't lift move. weights. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't lift weights. I don't lift weights. I go to my backyard and I have Ray, 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 Ray. I have monkeys in the backyard eating all my fruits. And I go to my backyard and I get my fruits out. Why well, does no I ain't lying? That's all he talk about them damn monkeys. Hey, <laughs> but his wife basically like he does. Yeah, his he wife does. is like man. His wife he's like his queen and and physio. Man, listen. Like, yeah, he's on it. He does his, his wife is like like Doctor Strange. Like he don't have to lift weights. Like they yeah so. You don't really, and then I put that up before we got out of here. Like uh, Ronald Simeon here said, he said, um, I saw Arian in person and he lifts weights. I would have to go with he does lift weights because if you look at him now, like 
The definition again, I'm a personal trainer, y'all. I own a whole gym. I can look at your body. I don't lift weights no more. This is what it looked like. See how skinny I am? That boy got cut on top of cut on top of cut on top of cut. Now I know God gave you some talent, but he didn't give you that. You in somebody weight room to get that. So the whole myth that he don't lift weights, I'm gonna have to go against that grain and, and I'm gonna have to go around the simile and said and said he actually lifts weights. So whoever started that. I think we probably can put that down. It don't matter, like somebody said, if it's 10 pound weights, 15 pound weights, he lifting something. He ain't just doing the old Ray Edwards, Ivory Williams, Mark Jones in 2009 and going to practice and then leaving practice, smoking a black and mild and playing a video game and going back to practice. He ain't doing that. I can assure you he ain't doing that. The boy in the weight room, all right? He get it done. That's why he ran 19 4. Because if you ain't lifting weights, if you're doing what we're doing, you ain't running 19 4, you're going to run 20.2. You're not running 19 you not hitting no weight. Fold, but you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be healthy after that. Yeah, now nah, your whole body gonna, gonna fall apart and spontaneous combust as soon as you come across the finish line. <laughs> and you're gonna be like that dude on Animatrix. <laughs> what lift, what what specific lift helps promote top end speed the most? How about that? Ooh. I can I answer that question from a trainer standpoint. What you got? Deltoid press. No, 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 delta press. Because if you can't, if you can't move your arms fast, you can't move your feet fast. So the the key to running fast is no delta it working right here because that's your pump. So it don't matter how much leg work you do. It don't matter what leg work you do. You can be like GB said last week. You can go in the weight room and you can squat five hundred pounds, but if you can't apply the force, it'll do you no good. You arm action, arm action makes a major that. difference in how fast you run. So yeah, if you weaken the arms, contributor, but all, 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 all momentum, all speed, all force, all, all your contact is created through your feet. So yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm gonna put this one up because this is this is. If I had to go leg work, I would go with um what LB actually just said. LB found and said something that made sense. I would go with that right there. Step ups, step ups. If I'm going legs, That's step close. ups. Might be the next best thing to make you run fast. Hey Ray, you live where do you live? I live in I live in I live on the moon, baby. Uh-huh. But I, I stay okay. in Dallas, Texas. And y'all have one of the best biomechanics in the world. To live we do. It's right there down the street. He come on the show. All right. I ask him what, and I guarantee I'm not gonna ask him because he's gonna disagree. <laughs> now he's gonna agree. Trap bar deadlift. Oh, oh, he's gonna agree with you. Trap bar deadlift. <laughs> yep. Now, well, hold on, though. no, 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 no. Trap bar deadlifts don't make you run fast. They make you more explosive. That's the difference. They make you extremely I, explosive. I say, that's all. That's all I, I do in the weight room with my people. But I didn't say make you run fast though. Okay, yeah, I get that. I get that. If we talking about explosiveness, oh yeah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing better than trap bar deadlift. Ain't nothing better. Like that's that boom, 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 pop, pop, pop. That's for real. I about to say. Never mind. We won't even go into it. Just to say, at USA Track and Field, we have a lot of biomechanists that work with us, and they're pretty good at their job. So. They are. I I learned a whole lot about that when I was down there in Orlando. Shout out to you and you said track and field for inviting yeah, me. That was a very yeah. enlightened show down there when I was down there. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed my time. I did. I said shout out to you and everybody else at track oh, and field. Mom, you know, but I said shout out shout out to you because you know what I'm saying. I enjoyed myself. I Wallace Wallace, I ain't gonna tell you a lot, y'all. Wallace invited me down for Orlando. You know, he 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 made sure that I was taken care of, and I got to sit in on every meeting. I got to learn stuff, and I actually learned a lot. I that's why I came back to race tech and told y'all like, well, technically it ain't all USATL, boy. I went to the meeting, learned a whole lot. It, it's more of y'all. Y'all gotta come on in. Huh? Yeah, it, 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 it's a little different. So I, I appreciate you for that. All right, y'all. I appreciate everybody for being on this live we had two hours and 12 minutes and 10 41 on in the central standard time that means 11 41 mm-hmm. where lamont is at track where news is at you know what these people are up in the late hours to give y'all this type of entertainment this type of talk wallace spearman is one of the greatest track and field athletes ever to grace the planet we all can agree with that so the fact that he had enough time to spend two hours out of his day with us and 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 i can actually say i'm honored because he's one of the people that we don't ever see doing any other shows for real so i i appreciate you my brother for, for coming on here i asked him to come on for about 10 20 minutes because you know me i like to try and treat every celebrity like they are but he was he was gracious enough to stay the whole show so we appreciate that truly appreciate Sorry, you, that you think you slick stay on for 10 minutes <laughs> 
I really don't give a fuck however many hours the show lasts. You already know what time it was. Hey, you ain't gonna be I'm trying to be professional right now. I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to be professional. All right, all right, my bad. That's me. Like I was saying, you know, he's a superstar celebrity athlete, you know, and and anytime, like, I just want to make sure that I give you your flowers, you know, because me and you, we, we, to get, personally, bro, you already know, you already know, but I just like to make sure anytime that y'all come on and stuff like that, because the fans and the people get a chance to see y'all and understand y'all. And a lot of these people have never really heard you speak before, have never had a chance to ask you questions and see stuff like that and get your frame of mind. So I, I, I appreciate you doing it for, for them more than anything, because like I say, I'm going to give you your flowers now. You one of the greatest that ever have done it. Like, come on, man. Let's just talk about where you started at, like from, from Arkansas as a walk on. From going to like I'm I'm walking on, I ain't even got no scholarship until no, where you where crazy. you're at now. Like like literally everything you've done and everything you said, because I've known your whole career is none of what you say is fabricated. I know the relationship that you and Boat got. Like I literally know that y'all are like brothers, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, for you to be able to come on and, and speak about, you know, what what you went through in track and field and stuff like that, I appreciate you. I know these people appreciate you. You are officially, I'd say, a race taker now, but you know you're my boy. So, but outside of that, you know what I'm saying? All we right. appreciate, we appreciate you, man. Like, 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 strongly appreciate you for coming on. Um, I know everybody got a kick out of it. Track World News, man. I, you know, I, uh, boy, I'm so happy for you. You, you going to Puerto Rico, right? You, you don't, you, you don't idea race take. He said, I'm in Puerto Rico, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can stay in Dallas. I'm in Puerto Rico doing my show. <laughs> you better wake up. You better, you better catch up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, Coach Lamont, man, look here. You know I tell you all the time, man. Like, you you one of the people, man, that I really say is, is a fixture in the sport because of your knowledge and your appreciation from it. Because you you don't just, just speak because you want to be heard. You speak because you, you actually know the sport. And you've been in it. You've been around it. You may not have been on a level that, you know, like like a me and Wallace, but the amount of information and amount of, of love that you bring is nothing less than that same level. So I know for me, I respect you as if you was right there next to me in every we, team we I ever made. Him. We compete against him, but, you know, we beat him. So, you know, I'm putting it out there too now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, 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 I do want to say, Coach, too, look. Coach is about 978 years old. Dude has been <laughs> coach. I'm going to be real. Lamar has been coaching. He was like he was at the star line coaching us on, on how to do better as he's competing. I'm like, bro, listen. I'm, you talking about, about the you talking about the week before you said you talking about the week before you set the American record. Yep, you already know. Hey, I was telling him on the first show the same thing. Before we even, before we even write, Thank I'm you. Like, <laughs> I would tell him on the first show I had him on. That I was like, bro, I remember Iowa State. You sitting down next to me, and we get ready to race each other. You know what I'm saying? And you tell you giving me tips. You know what I'm saying? He like, hey, Ray, well, look, you know what I'm saying? You, when you get out now, you want to keep your head low now. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't keep your head low, you're going to pop up too early. And I seen what you did last week. You was out here. You ran, you ran six, seven, Ray. You won't do it today, all right? And and then he would like literally talk to you like a coach and then get down the block beside you. I'm like, what, what the That's hell going the, on? He probably one of the first people I know that started analyzing film like before I, I it was even a thing. Man, that dude, oh. that when I say that dude, that like no track and field, like it was. It was always a pleasure to be next to him when he was at Iowa State because he was really like a coach. He was like he was like the Run James. He was a coach and running. So I, and like I say, I appreciate all of y'all, man. Like I, I truly appreciate y'all for being on this show tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I knew after what happened this weekend, it was a great weekend in track and field, and I feel like we we needed to give them a great show based off that. So I appreciate all y'all for taking this invite. Hey, and let me being on seconds. the show. Let me get 10 seconds before you cut it. You got 10 seconds. Go ahead, because right. I got to pee. You ready? I'm starting it right now. Two oh, hold on. Six. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. Shout out to Screw... At, at, damn it. I'm going to work on it, because I just talked to me. Shout out to at Screwball, and it's this way on Twitter. Shout out to at Screwball Whiskey. Believe it or not, at Screwball Whiskey has became a track and field fan. If you don't believe me, just go look at Ray's take. They started yesterday. They actually like track and field. I don't think they want to give any athletes in the liquor, just me, but 
<laughs> Shout out to Screwball. Gonna be the, at the Screwball. first liquor sponsor. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Hey, Michelob Ultra sponsor and stuff. Mick, hey, it. come on, man. All right, while it's the flow of yours, go ahead. All right, let's get it. So everybody who's watching right now, Ray and I used to train together, and we got some old throwback videos. Y'all should go check them out real quick. And then see, when, see when I really was whooping up on them. Exactly. Jump, jump, Jack, fool. Yeah, Ray told me up in some workouts. Go watch that. It's pretty comical. The last yeah, it is, I'll but, say but, is, we made it through the yeah. whole show without anybody bringing up that Arian just ran a top 10 time of all time in the 200 meter dash and not be the number 11. So I'm no longer top 10. Oh, and I'm still rooting for the dog. I'm not a hater, man. Not Damn, hater. bro. He knocked you out the top 10. I'm gone. Like Justin Timberlake. Hey, you got to come back. You got to come out of retirement. You got to get that back. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need <laughs> with an injury. That's good enough. Get that nine five, man. I'm gonna race my car. That be. I'm gonna get the GTR. That's about as much as. I got. Hey, okay, for fight. real, for real, for real. Last, for real, last story, and then we getting off of here, okay? For real, last story, because he said fast car. It's a true story. Oh, yeah. I'm at my apartment. I'm 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 <laughs> chilling. Wallace calls me. Ray, what's up? I'm at the crib chilling. What's going on? I'm finna come by and scoop you. All right, cool. You know, Wallace is a car, man. He, he Every year he bought a new car. I rode in all of them. Always from the Hummer. He pulls up in the new Nissan, people. The Nissan, it, it, ain't, it wasn't even out yet. It's the Nissan, the fast, fast boy. He's like, well, I got this new, I got this new car. And then, first of all, it went, it's, it's one thing that Nissan, when they made it, that damn thing was super fast. This idiot, I'm calling him idiot, that today decided to go take an already super fast car and make it super, super fast. He calls me. He said, Ray, come downstairs. I said, cool. I get in the car. I said, ooh, boy, I like this. He said, Ray, you want to go for a ride? Oh, yeah, come on, man. He said, put the seatbelt on. Man, because I drive fast. I don't care nothing about it. Y'all, I'm not playing it. I'm not making this shit up, y'all. From my, the exit he picked me up on, all right? I stayed on Dallas Tollway in the Spring Valley. If you in Dallas, you know how far this is. Spring Valley all the way to George Bush, okay? All right? We get on it. I, I don't did a lot of roller coasters. We get on the highway. Wally looks at me. He say, you ready to go fast? I said, what you talking about, bro? What you talking about? We already going fast. We we already doing like a 100. I don't, I'm feeling good. Like, who the thing can move? He said, you ready to go fast? I don't know what button he hit. I don't know what switch he hit. R, R, R. But when he hit it and my whole heart dropped in my ass and I had to catch it and bring it back up with a burp and he exited and we went from zero to 1,000 in four <laughs> seconds I said pull this mother trucker over I'm getting out I'm not playing and he laughing like he eating I said watch well, stop this shit I'm finna go I'm getting out so he's like no I got you I'm taking it home I said watch well, you better drive fast he, he do a little U-turn bro I'm telling y'all it's a five minute ride 30 seconds I ain't been back in the car with Wallace since then, and that zero, was eight years. Zero to two hundred and eleven seconds. Right? I have not been. Y'all don't understand. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, y'all think he playing, bro? Like the the speed that he hit, laughing. I really thought Jesus was praying for us. <laughs> hey, Lamar, hey, Lamar. Yeah. hey, when we got on the highway on the way back, I got like one eighty race, and we just teleported. Give me. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. We went from one exit to like skip five exits in no time. We're like, boo, we just teleported. Give me out this shit. I'm going. Like said, you I'm not, not getting it. You, you no do more. not have a license to teleport. You, you do not, not have a license to teleport. I'm not getting this car. No goddamn no more. And I ain't been in that car. I have not rolled in. I rode in all Wallace's cars. That was his ticket to say, Ray, I don't want you to call me no more. Because I took it. I'm like, oh, you got it. You got it, Jack. You got it. I ain't even now called you no more, boy. You, boy, I'm talking about, listen, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I feel like Jesus was looking down, praying to himself for us. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to curse the camera, but Ray said, hey, we got the car. Ray said, there's no reason to go that MF fast, that MF fast. That's right. I'm for real. I literally, like, bro, there's no reason to go that much. There's no reason. No reason. Y'all don't understand. I know what 140 feels like. I know what 160 feels like. There's no reason to go as fast as Wallace had that damn Nissan going. There's no 
Uh, never would there ever be a reason on this planet for a car to go from point A to point B with him laughing right, in it on, like it's let's, fun. Let's, bro, let's get off the phone. Let's get off. Well, I'm just saying, I had to get it out tell the people, like, man, look, did, did he tried to kill me one night. Like, I think I died that night, bro. I'm with y'all. I think I died. I think I went up. I talked to God. I said, God, am I going to run fast? He said, no, nope, Ray Boat going to still kick your tail. And he sit me back down and said, sit in the seat. Wallace ain't going to kill you, but you're going to feel like you're about to die. True story. That's I what remember. I realized. I forgot all about that until you really. <laughs> nah, I did. I swear I forgot all about. <laughs> I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I y'all, I'm telling y'all. When I look here, man, I don't been. I grew up in the hood, gunshots, all that. I ain't never been that scared before. Day in my life, boy, that boy had that thing doing like 300 miles per hour, Jack. I was like, oh my god, mama, where are you at? <laughs> right, let's go, man. No more stories, man. You got a police knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We better get out of here. I appreciate all y'all for being on us. This is truly probably ain't no problem. This is the longest race take we've ever had. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna let these boys go get some sleep. I'm gonna go get some sleep. I catch y'all on the next flip side. I'm pretty sure if we have something crazy happen again, as long as ain't nothing crazy, y'all can get just me. When they get crazy like this weekend, I gotta call in backup because I gotta know what they got to see. So hey. um, shout out to all y'all. Hey. I know Wallace came because he's a super celebrity, but y'all can give y'all ads and all that stuff so people can follow y'all and talk to y'all where y'all want to be at. Already. <laughs> Later. Y'all already know mine. Mine's is uh, TAF Chatter and at part four. That's my personal and then my own personal podcast with me and uh, two other volunteers, Tennessee volunteers that Wallace probably beat up on at some point. <laughs> um, Yeah. Check us out every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. I am a track world news. You can find us on Instagram. Uh, You can find us on uh, YouTube. We actually got an episode about this very. So if you want to hear more Aryan Knighton topic, more Aryan Knighton stuff. And uh, why I think he's going to be better than Usain Bolt. I said it. You can hear it tomorrow's episode. I talk all about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, you disagree with me and say that the world record is off, but then you say he could beat it. Cool. I'm hey, logging on I to guess your, you can find out I, in the episode tomorrow morning. Right, I'm, lo- I'm gonna log on to your uh to your IG uh show. I'm logging on already. I about to say do quick experiment on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Don't ask. I think David Oliver made that name for me. I don't know why it stuck, but we here we are. Uh, maybe if I do good enough and, and call Ray on occasion and, and not promise, I'm not, not getting no call with you. Again. He might let me get back on the show, maybe, possibly, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> hey, I gotta give a shout out to Mama Edwards. Wallace know my mama. All y'all know my mama. She she is still up in this chat room at ten fifty four at night. She is track track world news. I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't put it on the spot. So yesterday she at the house, right? We barbecue and everything. You went live yesterday. Soon as you went live, I'm peeking over my mama's phone. She watching your damn live. Like my mama's a for real track fan like that. Like she real. I'm like this. Watch it. She don't click on to see what what track world news that like she follow you like I'm hey. telling you like when you went live yesterday my mama literally click. <laughs> <laughs> man we love we love Mama Edwards over here man hey love, hey love for her. sure you know she love herself Wallace she love Cole Lamar all of y'all so shout out to my mom for that because my mama is a huge fan she's always <laughs> in the chat book she in here now like she's supposed to be sleep getting ready for work in the morning but. That lady, she loves every all of us. If you run track, that lady cheers for you and pray for you from here to Mexico. So, Mama Edwards is definitely Mama go, Mama, a track man. fan. Mama, go, Mama. one hundred percent. All right, y'all. Eight years old. That's still gonna be her baby. That's the one well, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all we finna get out of this thing i appreciate y'all boys a hey, good night to all of y'all that stayed up here with y'all with us and uh next time it's something crazy i'm sure y'all see us again they said track and field look like drake <laughs> man they that's, hating they, the hey, comments, they ain't man. that bad that ain't that bad when i think about it i'll take it <laughs> i know I got all right y'all. y'all have a good night we got this I thing see y'all peace all right y'all That's it. Good night and goodbye.